Welcome back to the wonderful land of Vardenfell. We are returning after a nice uh, about month-ish long break from the good old stream because life happens and, and, you know, that goes for all people in this world, including uh, myself. Uh, a nice fledgling uh, Morrowind content creator here. Um, but today, we are coming back with, with fire and vengeance because uh, I... <laughs> I don't know why those are the, why those are the, the the words I chose to describe that there's probably not going to be a lot of fire and vengeance um, but there will be a new character and and you know hopefully some enjoyment that somebody can uh, glean out of this time but today we're actually doing something that was requested quite some time ago during the Astrologians Guild playthrough uh, that's way on back in the archives of the second channel here and that is to do another modded guild playthrough uh, experimentation. And uh, this time, we are doing that. And we are doing it with the Adventurers Guild, which is a rather storied mod, legendary mod, not a new mod. Um, I believe it came out, God, in the, the mid 2000s. Um, but it is something that I have, I have never played, although I have heard a lot of great things about. So we will see if it lives up to the hype here and uh we got a death counter up because the mod creator in the comments uh, on the the post on the nexus said that the adventurers guild is best enjoyed with a new character um i don't know if that's for compatibility reasons or if because that's the level scaling of the mod so we're gonna hope it's level scaling but if I freaking make a new character right here and walk into some level 30 just freaking bludgeoning dungeon that, you know, eviscerates me and throws me to the freaking wolves, well, then, you know, that counter may end up around 30, 40, 50. Or we could end at zero if it's like, a, you know, a well-scaled mod. Um, let me change one thing here on my stream. I see that my uh, window is a little low. Okay, there we go. Now we are, now we're nice and lined up. Um... But yeah, we're going to Adventurer's Guild. We got the Akaviri King. Well, welcome. Welcome from the long, long lost land of Akavir. Uh, thanks for making that trip, Akaviri King. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the YouTube content. Uh, I enjoy making it, so I'm glad that there are, you know, some, some people out there that enjoy watching it. That's good. Um, but like I was saying, we're doing Adventurer's Guild, so we've got to make an adventurer. And in my head, an adventurer is like, I don't know, like a sword and board kind of like sword and shield Dungeons and Dragons like classical fighter. Like if I think of an adventurer, you know, I think of that. That's what I think of. I think of like the D&D &D character that I rolled when I was like nine years old. Right. Um, so we're going to go with Andy, the adventurer. Because if I don't have a pun for the name, it's obviously got to be a really egregious alliteration. What's up, homie Trigun? Welcome in. That's a classic. I haven't heard about, I haven't thought about freaking Trigun in eons. <laughs> Welcome in. Hope you're doing good. We are playing the Adventurer's Guild today with a new character uh, that we are going to spec out here in just a second. I heard them say we reached. Got old Jub here. Shredded as always. If I could have a physique, I like there was there's no amount of money I wouldn't pay to have a physique like Jub. Look at that guy. Come on, man. Just just making us all look like fools over here. But uh, we'll we'll leave him and his his well defined abs behind for now, and uh, head up to the old excise office. <laughs> so someone with a little more attainable appearance, uh, Kai. <laughs> Uh, good old uh, Sakushius Argala. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock. Slightly, slightly more, more in the wheelhouse. Okay, so I said sword and board adventurer, basic, uh, basic, Andy right here. So I've got to go with an imperial, because I feel like the the, you know, th there's nothing more basic than a human. Like, if, if you're just rolling that, like I said, the D&D &D character when you're 10 and you can't comprehend that you can, like, be an orc yet, you're always going to go human. 
An adventurer to me just sounds normal. <laughs> so we're gonna do an imperial. And let's find let's find the right hairstyle. We're not gonna do the Caius cosplay. Although if I ever go to a convention that, you know, that 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 should be uh that should be top on the list. I kind of digging that hair. Look at that. Nice mahogany. This guy looks like he has this just looks like wood. <laughs> I don't know the texture. This guy's hair is made out of cherry <laughs> mahogany. I kind of like the long. We're going to go with the long. Well sculpted carpenter hair. Let me take a refresher here on the skill bonuses. We have the blunt weapon, got some hand to hand, light armor, long blade, mercantile, and speech craft. So, you know, basic fighter, no calling to magic at all. So this works perfectly. Nice and bland white rice character. <laughs> Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Andy the Adventurer. You got Fargoth over there in the background already strutting his stuff. Jeez, man. All right, Secusius. I'm here for my questions. All right, I will fill out the forms myself. And like I said, we're going to stick with normal, boring, basic combat. I'm going to be taking long blade as the main because there's so many great long blades in the game. Can't really go wrong. And like I said, that's like your prototypical Conan the Barbarian adventurer. Uh, the boost to athletics is nice. You know, be a little quicker. Probably going to go with uh, heavier, or, or I'm sorry, either medium or light armor. Playing with mods. Yes, so this is, the what we're going to be doing is a modded quest line. It adds an additional guild into the game uh, called the Adventurer's Guild. And this is open Morrowind right now. Um, and I, I actually recently, like, blew away my entire mod list because it was getting a bit absurd. So I think there's actually only a couple mods that I'm using right now uh, on my open Morrowind. And I think they're all content mods, so I don't think there'll be any gameplay changes that I remember. Um, favorite attributes? I'm going to stick with strength. Actually, I may change agility out for endurance. Because we're going to need to be nice, nice and healthy. Have a high endurance at the beginning. And then, like I said, we're going to go nice, normal, adventurer, long blade, medium armor. Get rid of the heavy. Let's do a spear as a backup weapon. Um, I'm already going to be leveling long blade with strength, so I don't need blunt. I'll take the mercantile just for fun. Yeah, that doesn't really do a whole lot. I may... Hmm. I love having restoration. I I feel like restoration is like pretty pretty typical adventurer. So I'll take it. I'll take restoration. That's not super hardcore game cheating spell casting. Um, and then I'll take. Sure, let's take athletics. Minor skills, like I said, sword. Actually, no, I'm gonna take block because I want to go sword and shield so I'll yeah I'll take athletics there medium is endurance as well what other fun stuff do I want it's so hard to like not always spec into magic every single time I feel like marksman is a minor skill like that's always your D&D &D characters always have a bow as a backup right even if you're a fighter so I'll take marksman as a minor and then maybe Speechcraft and Mercantile to round it out. And we're going to leave the class as an adventurer because, well, we're Andy the Adventurer doing the Adventurer's Guild. So it's it's only apt <laughs> that we stay the adventurer. Usually rock at least resto, mysticism, and alteration. You're right. The, the, and the, the key there is alteration. Alteration, God, it's just so overpowered in this game. Like... Forget security, forget, you know, who needs who needs security, who needs acrobatics, right? When you have alteration, you can just do all of it. 
But like I, I'm going for like a D and D kind of like fighter feel. Uh, so, you know, trying to limit my magic, my magical prowess here. And then I think I'm gonna go with the lady. Get the boost to the endurance. Or I could go lover and get the boost to agility. Um, I'm gonna go tank mode. We'll get the boost to the endurance. And we'll take it from there. Interesting. Now before I stamp the I haven't I haven't made let me think. I don't think I've done like a sword and board guy recently, so this will be interesting. All my freaking games nowadays are like Let's make the mage that breaks this as fast as possible. <laughs> oh, is my key bindings off? Hold on, I can't grab anything. That's kind of weird. Let me double check something here. Now activate. Yeah, it's space. Oh, that is an issue. Hold on, let me see if I can grab anything. Oh, I'm just... I'm just being... Okay, there we go. That was really weird. I was like, I'm being handicapped. They're, they're not letting me get the limeware. Okay, well, remember how I said I kind of like broke the game because I had such an incredible mod list? I Maybe that was a leftover. Have I been playing Baldur's Gate 3? Is that why I have the D&D &D idea? Yes. <laughs> I have played, I have been just balls to the wall with Baldur's Gate. What an incredible game. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying that. That's honestly why I haven't been streaming as much. Because I've just, I've been, well, that among, you know, life things. Uh, but I have just thoroughly been engrossed in that game. I've loved it so much. I've been a I've been a D and D player my entire life. I've DM'd for years, so doing Baldur's Gate, having that come out, was like, man, I was I'm all in, you know. I, I did one stream, but then I was I was having I was getting so like immersed in the game, it was like hard to do commentary over. So I was like, I gotta just play this off stream, otherwise. You know, I'm just going to have boring streams because I'm just sitting there like, oh my god. It's a constant, constant awe. If there are folks who like CRPGs and haven't played it yet, just do yourself a player favor. Go play Baldur's Gate. <laughs> it's so ridiculously good. All right, Celis Gravius. Take your papers. Get out of my face. Here we go. Andy the Adventurer takes his first steps into Vardenfell. What a good-looking dude with that mahogany hairline. Anchorman would be proud. R Ron Burgundy. There we go. Not Anchorman. Come on. Hello. All right, let's uh, get rid of some of our stuff here. All the random junk that we pulled out of that house. Uh, we're at 485. Let me grab... Do I want to grab the Iron Saber here? I mean, that's kind of the classic long blade start. Iron Saber and an Iron Shield. Go off to the races. May I help? All right, so like I said, this is uh, it adds additional guilds to the game. Uh, so we need to go find a guild hall. Uh, and as, as you know, every time I do a mod on stream, I do it blind. So I actually don't know where they are. <laughs> I know one's in Aldrun uh, from reading the mod description. Um, so we can head there. I don't know if we want to head there directly or to, like do a quick dungeon right here and just just start leveling a little bit because like i said i don't know if this is meant for level one characters um i may actually do this little dungeon right here because we're we're right next to it let's go ahead and
do this, start our adventure, and then, you know, once we get into town, um, I can buy some armor. I can buy some light armor in Balmora or something. There we go. Okay. Nice and easy start. Um, I guess I'd just be grabbing everything right now. So we're kind of... We're scraping ourselves out of the muck. Bootstrapping it. See that one up here? He's down here? Yep. New to D&D. Oh, okay. I will say I played... Uh, Baldur's Gate 2 back in the day, and this one is way more accessible um, than Baldur's Gate 2. And the story... Th I mean, Baldur's Gate 2 is an incredible game. Great story. Uh, but it is way more... I don't want to say hardcore, but old school. It's certainly more old school. And it's like... Uh, UI, especially... Where Baldur's Gate, the only problem with Baldur's Gate 3 from like a playability perspective is the, the inventory is just like, oh god, the inventory is brutal, but everything else is amazing. Highly recommended. And it's funny, the, while the, this, the, what should I say? The system is D&D. &D, you don't really have to know D&D very well to play it because everything is done for you. You know, unlike in Dungeons and Dragons when you're like, I gotta add this mod, do this roll, you know, do all that stuff. It's like you're playing a normal game and the game does it for you, um, which is good. Although I would say it is a great way to uh, learn Dungeons and Dragons because the it, it, it is the 5e system. Like, it's perfect. There you go, a glazed pick up everything syndrome. Yeah, that'll do it. There's so much cool stuff in that game, too. You just want to grab everything. <laughs> 900, 900 book. That's not, that's not a bag <laughs> that, or, or a chest. That's a library. A glaze. You, you have a life. You're traveling with a library, right? <laughs> God damn. Could you imagine like your, uh, could you imagine having to haul that around? Like you're you're the the unlucky donkey that got enlisted into this group moving around the camp. So shit, here comes the freaking the library guy again. God damn it. <laughs> why didn't I get the fur traders? You know, why didn't I get the normal people? Let's got this guy over here. Five hundred thousand books. A bag of library. There you go. <laughs> the only thing stronger than the blade is knowledge. Right? <laughs> if Hey, if your character had a strong enough, a high enough strength, and you threw 900 books at somebody, like, that's got to be heavy as shit. I mean, that, that, that has to be an insta-kill. Like, come on. Instead of hail of blades, hail of books. Alright, grabbing, getting a nice good start here. RNG is blessing us so far. We've actually kind of rocked our way through some of these people already. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, feeling confident so far. Um, I guess I could put on the Natch Leather, but let me recheck. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I took took medium. So, uh, this is all light. Can't start yet. Well, there we go. Andy the Adventurer's first dungeon, everybody. Woo! He's, he, he, he grows up so fast. That is true. Yes. When when you're <laughs> that almost makes it worse though, Trigon, to be real. Like if if you're like 
I may need this, then then you really grab everything. You know? <laughs> In Baldur's Gate, you're like, I could sell this thing, you know, this bottle. Just clear out this dining room table for the gold. Yeah, and fall New Vegas. I mean, you're... Man, I, I would grab... I would grab the dust particles, you know, from under the freaking uh, desks, right? Because I'm like, I could I could craft with this later. Uh, uh, use I'll use this as bestos to make the siding to my uh, my next settlement. And then, then you have a ridiculously full inventory. easy for combat if you roll starter. That is also true. Yeah. Like, uh, so my, my main character has been a barbarian and nice and simple, right? Barbarian, reckless attack, multi-attack, remember to rage at the start of the fight and you're good to go. An overwhelming amount of choice. That is a good way to put it. Um, because that kind of is the thing with that game is there. There's so many like different ways to go about a situation, which I really love. All right, uh, I'm gonna start looking. I don't remember if they said if there's an adventurers guild in Balmora. I know they said there's one in Aldruin. I don't see any new signs right here. Um, I think we'll just head to the pawnbroker and dump some dump some loot. Is there something you need? The thing I will say, the thing that the, the moment that I was like, "This is crazy," uh, with Baldur's Gate three, and it was like the smallest detail. It's kind of funny, but because I was playing a barbarian, like I had a really high strength, so I could m move a lot of stuff. And the moment that I realized I could move any, like thing in the world like it wasn't just normal video game where like the box is nailed to the ground and you can't move it like you could jump on it but you can't move it the moment I realized I could move all the chairs tables boxes wardrobe like I could just shift everything around and like throw it I was like this is this this is next gen now like this is crazy because I, I don't know you're just not used to that like in Marwin like I can't move that crate you know, Morrowind and Sky. I mean, any RPG. You can't you can't pick the crate up and move it. But in Baldur's Gate, you can, which like blew my mind. It was like the smallest detail. But it's the smallest details that make all the difference, right? All right, let's get rid of some of this junk. All the daggers. All this random bread and crap. Alright, we got 92 gold. They don't sell any medium armor, do they? They do not, sadly. I think I could buy some bone mold. <laughs> Explosives inside, yeah. Exactly. If you can throw it, it's a weapon. That's all I'm saying. Right. Kint! Welcome back, Kint! I hope you've been well. Um, let's... Yeah, let's start grabbing a little armor here. I don't want all three. Good God. That was aggressive. <laughs> I'm here for armor. All of it. Give me your friggin' armor. Um... How much can I afford? I think that's all, actually. And do I want to blow all my gold, like, immediately? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the boots go, but you gotta grab both pauldrons. You can't walk around with no... You can't walk around with mismatched pauldrons. You know, we gotta have some kind of standards here. See, that doesn't look too bad, you know? Similar, similar color to the pants. So we got, we still got fashion wind in check. We're still okay. Um, I will join the fighters guild here to get the health potions, and then I'll make my way to Aldrun. You're not who I want to talk to. 
Yep, charter. Got it. Oaths. You know, sure. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I hope there isn't a pop quiz. If they, if if I get. If I got quizzed, I've joined the Fighters Guild hundreds of times now, probably, across all of my different streams, you know, playing on my own, different character builds. Like, if, if anybody asked me what was on the charter, no clue. <laughs> zero, zero idea. <laughs> I've looked, you know, I've seen that dialogue box countless times. But just like the terms of service, you know. Yeah, sh just, just get me in the guild already. Come on. <laughs> Alright, we've made it to Morrowind. Altroon? Wait, we've been in Morrowind. What am I talking about? <laughs> what is, what's in this coffee? Holy good God. Oh, that's, uh, that looks promising. Uh, this is it? Yes! Okay, the Adventurer's Guild. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found the mod. Here they are, right in a guild hall alley, competing against the fighter and the mages over here. You know, they don't have as big of a place, so they must be up-and-comers. Pog. Hashtag Pog. Um, Alright, I don't know who to talk to, so let's just start asking around. We got Adam Border. If you want to join the guild, talk to Walk to the Swamp. We need more members. Okay, well that's good. Uh, can you t tell me anything <laughs> about about this place? Uh, that is the Solstheim dialogue. I don't see anything unique. Uh, yeah. Okay, he doesn't have any unique dialogue. He's just a peon. He's a groveler. He like he's one of those guys at, at the beginning of Monty Python who's just there to, you know, like rake the mud. Alright, walk to the swamp. You seem to be the one that I want to talk to. Hello, Andy the Adventurer. Did you want to join the Adventurer's Guild? I I do, yes. Uh I do. Hmm. You look like the sort we could use in the guild. Will you take the adventurer's oath and join the guild? Well, since I just mentioned it, we ought, we, we got to read the fine print now. What's the adventurer's oath? You know, it better not be like uh, every fortnight you must cut off one of your fingers and, and sacrifice it to the walk the swamp dark lord. You know, we need our fingers to adventure, so... All right, the oath is simple. Perform any duties assigned to you by the guild leader. Always share your knowledge freely with other guild members and never strike or steal from another guild member. Does this appeal to you? I don't I mean it's it's a tough bargain, but there's, you know, this uh this never strike or steal from another guild member. You know, that's going to be pretty hard to stick to, but since there's no blood rituals in here, I I guess I can sign up, sure. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild, Andy. Come to me or another guild member if you want any duties. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I would like some duties. I need you to talk to Talavu Dislanvi. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here we go with the pronunciations. Nice and early. Talavu Dislanvi. Dislanvi? We'll go with that. Talavu Dislanvi is one of our guild members who lives in Margan. He studies Dwemer ruins and has been looking for the lost ruin of Geth Bachman for a while now. Go to Margan and ask Talavu Dislanvi if he has had any progress with discovering the, la the location of Geth Bachman. This will be a good way for you to explore the Ashlands if you travel the road from Aldrun to Margan. Your journal has been updated. Okay. Geth Bachman. I don't know why, but that sounds like a like a seventies prog rock band. Geth Bachman. 
in their album Light from the, you know, Inner Eye or some crap. <laughs> Hey, have you seen, uh, you know, Joey Garcia's new band, freaking Geth Bachman? Hey, great. Okay, uh, let, let's ask around. Let's see if there's any interesting characters down here. Actually, before we run off. Uh, it doesn't look like they have any dialogue. Uh, nothing. Oh, I can ask about duty. What is this? Hello, associate. Would you help me with a duty that the guild has given to me? Okay, so we can actually stack the quests, it appears. All right, the guild asked me to go to the Dwemer Ruin, Bethungthums, which is northwest of Margon and west-northwest of Felasmiran. I must get the Dwemer tube key from the ruin. I will get 300 gold, as this is my first duty. I will pay you 150. Okay, sure. What? Oh, is she like me now? Well, let's get going. I will mark Felasmiran on your map, just so you know roughly where it is. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> I guess we know which one we're doing first. <laughs> I was like, what did I do? She just freaking throws on the armor. I thought she was ready to throw down for a second there. Do you want something? Uh, actually, let's see what his, what his, what his trade is. Uh, I'm a mage. Okay. So it looks like this is mainly quest lines. Uh, doesn't look like there's a ton of characters, at least, Today's built out down here. So let's hear it. Hello, associate. What can I do? Well, let's learn about being a guild guide. Oh, it's just like the Mage's Guild. Okay. All right, fair enough. Okay. Uh, let's see if they have a guild chest, because that is always something important to know. I don't see one. Uh, there was one chest downstairs, but it was empty. But if there is loot to be had, I will of course take it. Go ahead. I'm okay, here we go. Supply chest. Geronimo, welcome in. <clears throat> hello, hello. All right, what do we have? Uh, disease resistance, fatigue, health, fortify. Cure blight, that's important. Cure common disease, that's important. And the legend of Miris. Is this a skill book? It is not. All right, well. Basic supplies. We got to get them on the up and up. You know, that's why they need us. They need us because they're struggling. Don't worry. You'll be you'll be stocked full of exclusive potions quicker than you can snap your fingers and do your step. What is the goal for this build? This is just uh, sword and board... D&D style fighter build since we are doing the adventurers guild mod so we're just we're going long blade shield trying to whack people to death really fast all right so there we have Fallus Marion up there uh, let's see can we quick travel over there Otherwise, you know, it may be more thematic to walk. Since we are here to adventure. Why walk when you can ride? Although we'll have to walk to Follows Marion anyway, so at least at least we get a nice head start here. How many health potions do we have? Ten uh cheap restore healths, five normal. 10 fatigues. That's a little low. We do have hearth heal at a 68% chance. So we actually are pretty decent. Even though we have zero spec into magic, we do have a 68% chance to heal ourselves, which is pretty good. Sword and board, yes. Yeah, who needs might and magic when you've got sword and board? <laughs> Indeed, it is the little things, the details. All right, come on. Uh, what's what's her face? Mariette? Mariette Bereen. I didn't even know your name and you were following me. Do you even know my name? Y you don't. I do. <laughs> Hold on. 
This lady has a lot of trust. I joined the guild 30 minutes or 30 seconds prior to talking to her. And she's like, yeah, like, yeah you know, he looks like a nice guy, right? I'll trust, him with, I'll trust him with my life leading me into the Dwemer ruins. Look at this guy. What a night, what an upstanding citizen. I mean, he's got a good jawline. So, you know, he's healthy. He knows what he's doing. It's got to be. <laughs> All right, let's crush some rats here real quick. Oh, are you an archer? Okay, that's actually kind of nice. I'm going to steal your arrows using silver arrows. High-class archer over here. Only, only the finest of arrows touch this body. Come on, Mariette. Onward we go. Let me check my journal. Uh, where was that place? Let me see. Bethungdoms. Northwest of Margon and west northwest of Phallus Marion. So it's probably like here-ish. So we need to go to the coast... And then go go to the right, I guess, once we hit the coast. That's going to be my guess, at least. Uh, unless we have this gap in the mountains. That'll actually be nice. Let's head this way. Background music is also from Morrowind. Yes, this is just the normal uh, game game sounds going. Nothing crazy. Oh, come on. Hey, good job, Mariette. I didn't even get a freaking hit on that devil. The Morrowind music, though, is such a bop. I mean, what a classic. Anything that, you know, Jeremy Soul touches is uh, turns to gold. I remember I used to uh, I used to study to this soundtrack back when I was a wee lad in school. Put on the freaking Morrowind soundtrack, go to town. Hi, right, there you go, Geronimo. You got good taste. <laughs> I I would do it when I was like doing working uh, sessions and stuff. All right. Well, being the distracted adventurer I am you know we're still level one we need a we need a level I see Shishi here uh, so let, let's see what's going on in Shishi Mariette try not to die we're, we're gonna do some extracurriculars you must be new to the guild too though so uh, you know you said it was your first assignment so let's let's uh, let's figure this out just don't get me killed and we're good well, she's walking not very concerned uh, there's a lot of dead people. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> what what are we walking into? <laughs> this is this is not good. There's there's dead bodies everywhere. <laughs> oh sh! Oh my god! Is it vampires? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we may be screwed here. In fact, I'm I'm pretty sure we're going to be screwed here. But we'll we'll fight it out. We'll see what happens. Mm, that's bad. Ooh, okay, okay. Mariette, uh, uh, need, need some support? <laughs> you do no damage! <laughs> Although I guess I don't really either with my iron saber. Okay, yeah, well, we, uh, I think we're gonna tick up the death counter here. Yep, there we go. Shit. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. <laughs> death, death number one. Self-induced. Uh, okay, all right. Back to the path. Uh, back to the path. <laughs> Fun fact. Uh, don't fight vampires at, at level one. Uh, it's not a, not a good time. <laughs> I assume that was a vampire, actually. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll be back. You just, just you wait, Shishi. 
<laughs> you know, I was hoping for some, like, undead. Are, are you winning, son? In Videntia, we're always winning. Okay. Losing, I don't, I don't even know what that means. Any time in Marwin is a good time. You're always winning. <laughs> Welcome back, though. Hope you've been well. Um, I'm wondering if this is our Dwimmer Ruin, because this is, ladies and gentlemen, west-northwest of Fallas Marion. There we go. Now we just need to find the entrance. I assume it's off to the side up there. It does seem like winning. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Do we have any, uh... Like Starfield without the stars and actually good. <laughs> I was about, okay, I was, a, you, you beat me to it. What the hell, Marriott? Sorry. I was about to queue up a Starfield question. Um, because I have been so engrossed in Baldur's Gate 3 and so busy with just life crap. I haven't actually had a chance to play Starfield. I was actually planning on starting it tonight after stream. Um... What is our sentiment? What do we think? Dearest viewers, what is the review of Starfield? I've heard so many mixed opinions. Some people love it. Other people say it's like the worst game ever. Like, I, it, what? from what I've heard, it's like a 6 to a 7 probably in reality out of 10. What do we really think? Like, when, Has anyone played it yet? Am, am I the only one behind the times? I just knew, I was like, until I finish Baldur's Gate, like, there's no way I'm playing Starfield. I just, like, I only have so many hours in the day, and I am not, not finishing Baldur's Gate. You also haven't played it. Okay, see, that's a, that's a bad sign, you know? I, I... I'm about as big of a Bethesda fanboy as they come, and, and I have, I like, I wasn't even, everything I saw from Starfield, like, didn't grab me, you know? I remember Fallout 4, um, like, I'm not only an Elder Scrolls fan, I got Fallout 4 on release, preloaded it, played it that night, like, got all the expansions, you know, like, did the whole nine. Something about Starfield, though, I don't know. It just hasn't... It didn't grab me. It didn't really speak to me. I haven't enjoyed a Bethesda game since Morrowind. Fair enough. Yeah, then may, maybe Starfield is not for you. <laughs> All right, we got a dead Silt Strider out here. May, may he rest in peace... You know, I guess it's better to die in the Ashlands than to become a lobotomized bus for the swamp people. <laughs> There's a lot to do, but it's mostly the same as Skyrim and Fallout. Okay. First game was Skyrim, hell yeah. I feel like that's most people, you know, like... I feel like most people with Skyrim, because Skyrim was such a sensation. Uh, this is actually not the Dwemer Ruin we need. I'm... Really? Wow. Okay. Uh, and you can count on one hand the truly new mechanics. See, that's what I've heard. Maybe that's why I wasn't, like, super excited, because, I, I you know, it just sounded like it didn't really do a whole lot new. Um, I actually don't want to do a Dormer Ruin with her. She may die. Let's uh, let's keep looking for the right one. I, th I think it was just down the way over here. Like, the spaceship building looked really cool from Starfield. I'm looking forward to that. The, uh... Oh, God, we're getting swarmed. The planets 
to me was like the big you know that kind of looked like a letdown to me on all the gameplay that I have seen which I haven't watched a ton because I when I'm excited about a game I try to avoid spoilers as much as possible um, but the planets they looked like so early no man's sky to me I was like no I was like why why did we do this <laughs> Thingles, welcome in. Thingles, I missed the in, but welcome to chat. I think this maybe maybe this is our Dwemer ruin. There were two that were literally right next to each other. Oh my God, that's hysterical! And Videntia, really? <laughs> That's such a Bethesda moment. Oh my god. How playable is Morrowind uh, for someone who only did Skyrim? It's really not that bad. Um, like, once you... It, like, the big thing is fatigue. Like, once you understand how to manage your fatigue... And... As long as you can live with the dice roll combat system... It's not terrible. Um, the only other hard part... That's an adjustment. It's just there's no waypoint system. There's no cu compass. You know, that's a little that's a little challenging for a new a new player. But once you have a day or two of playing to adjust, you know, even just two to three hours, like yeah, you'll you'll be able to play it just fine. Uh, you won't be like mid maxing into Godhood in one hour, you know, like you can do. But you'll you'll be playing and having a good time. All right, I think this is the one. Let me open my journal. An adventurer's guild member named Marriott Boreen wants my help for one of her duties. Go to Bethungthums, which we are at, and then we need to get... What is it? Uh, it's like a Dwimmer tube. The Dwimmer tube key. Okay. We have to we have to <laughs> we have to find a key to the Dwimmer subway. Look at that. Are you doing a challenge? Uh not at the moment. Uh we're doing we are doing a mod playthrough. Uh that adds a new guild to the game called the Adventurers Guild. So that's that's what we're doing right now. And uh, you know, drinking some coffee, repping the Waffle House. You know, keeping it classy. <laughs> All right, hopefully this isn't like a high-level Dwemer Ruin. You know, hopefully we just get nice leveled spawns. We're level one. Friendly reminder. All right, let's take all that. Whenever you do these, like, go find the thing at the Dwemer Ruin quest, they're, like, always sitting on a shelf somewhere and just blending in with the wall being incredibly easily missed. I feel like that's how it always goes. Or like, oh no, it was in the one keg that you didn't open. <laughs> I feel like this is going to make us do a lot of globe trotting, so I may need to do uh, blo Boots of Blinding Speed after this. Just so we can move around the Ashlands nice and quickly. Uh, nothing up there. We got a level one lock. That is about our level. That's <laughs> exactly our level. All right. Uh, it should probably rest. Uh, actually, not. It's level one. Come on, come on. It's level one. Let's not. Let's not make this harder than it needs to be. There you go. And nothing. Damn it. <laughs> Damn you, Todd. And you. Your empty chest. You used to at least have a heart. Now your chest is an empty void. Filled with space. Alright, uh, I'm trying to look. I don't see anybody behind the spider. My, my thing is I don't want to like accidentally aggro a steam centurion. And just get absolutely slapped here. Uh... 
I would like to rest if possible. But we're actually doing pretty okay because our, our endurance is ridiculous right now. We're at 75 endurance at level 1. So we're going to have the health of a freaking god. We're like a living wardrobe. All the hit points. Block to 36. Alright, uh, gotta look at the shelves. Nothing on the shelves. Jeez, God, there's just a million freaking dwarven spiders. I'm gonna let Mariette start to thin them out. I wanna make sure I'm not missing the key, wherever that is. The friggin' Dwimmer tube key. Feel like I'm playing Fallout 3. Oh, God, that's a... That is a ghost. Hold on. Oh, I don't have any magic items. And he one-shot me. Holy shit. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that... Okay, well, well, hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, let me tick, tick it up twice here. Okay, this is a bad... This is a bad position. I did not prepare properly. I did not get a silver weapon. God, this is on Mariette. I think I think this is all on Mariette. I, I need to not get hit and and let her try and kill this thing. Did she die too? Oh my god, she got one shot too. Wait, wait, what kind of why are we doing this at level one? Hold on, do I know where the key is? Okay, the key is right there. Alright, alright, alright. We we can do this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> now the now the real fun begins, a glazed. <laughs> oh she hit it with the arrow. Okay, okay. Alright. Oh my god. I don't know I know that I can make it without her dying. The question is, can we do it while keeping her alive? That is the problem. Okay, okay. Let's try Let's try again. Can I heal through it? I can't. Oh my god. The one-shot ghost. And I also quick-saved literally in the worst place. How do we do this? If I can aggro him and pull him away... And not let her get killed by him. That's that's like my one, my one thought. If I can pull him away, like come this way. Oh, he's just gonna kill her. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna grab the key. Is he out of magicka? I think he's out of magicka actually. Okay. Okay. Hey, this is good. This is good RNG. Uh, let's not immediately die. We we lucked out. You 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 can do it, Marriott. <laughs> I don't think I can attack him because he's a ghost. I haven't even rolled a hit yet. She has silver arrows. She's caught him at half. We're just gonna do the pacifist playthrough <laughs> on this fight. <laughs> The, you you did great <laughs> good good job Marriott oh my god you to, somebody promote this woman okay that <laughs> that was exciting <laughs> dark Mazalf. and he has a ring demoralized creature one to 50 for 60 seconds. Demoralize human 1 to 50 for 60 seconds. That's pretty powerful. Disintegrate armor 1 to 25. And disintegrate weapon 1 to 25. Dang. Okay, that's a that's an a that's a that's a pretty good ring. Hold on. That's uh way better than that other ring we had on. Marriott. Good, good. It's, it's been a pleasure adventuring with you. Holy shit. I did miss a death though. I think we're up to five <laughs> at least. <laughs> 
Like I said, the mod creator did not provide any guidance on the recommended level. He just said start a new character, so... I assume, I assume it was level 1 friendly. I, I apparently assumed wrong, as is tradition, but, you know. The challenge is part of the fun. Alright, um... We're gonna try with the other guy. Let's, uh... Rest until healed, get our fatigue. Try not to burn our last lockpick. Come on, Andy. You can do it. What's our security? Five? Yep. <laughs> there we go. Okay. 25 Dwemer coins. Always a good time. Grab some random Dwemer junk. Okay. Thanks, thanks for freaking saving our life back there. Good God. Freaking Satan himself. <laughs> In the ruin. Mod creator tricked us. He, he said, you thought this was for level one characters. This is, you know, probably more like level five, level 10. Ah, eh, maybe level five. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right. Well, that is the duty complete. Wait, hold on. Do I just turn it into you? Good job, Andy. Let's get back to the guild. Okay. All right. Away we go. All right, Adventurer's Guild part part one, largely complete. Now we just need to make it back. I wonder if I can just run over the mountains from this side. That's probably my best bet. Oh no, I I don't I don't I don't know if the NPC would be able to pathfind through it. I don't know if I'll be able to pathfind through it. Good God. <laughs> We stuck? <laughs> well. I, uh... Just, uh, just a little, you know, a little, little Morrowind magic. That's all. That's all. Yeah, I guess we'll just go back down. Let's go back down. Don't want to overburden Mariette. You know, it's still, it's still her first quest. Still her first adventure. Everything's fine. All right, she's already learned the terror of cliff racers as well. Well, that was a, a nice learning experience for our first time adventurer here. Freaking dwarven spider, 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 ghost that one shot kills you with with uh, cold damage. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> one of these things is not like the other, apparently. I'm thinking maybe I grab the Sword of White Woe when I get back to Balmora. I think that's going to be my next duty. So I'm going to go back to Aldrun. We'll complete the quest. I'll grab White Woe. I'll grab the Boots of Blinding Speed, because apparently this is going to be a Globetrotter guild. And then, and then we'll continue from there. Come on now. Come on, son. You can do it. Is Mariette a companion? I, I don't know. That is a great question. I assume she's just following us for the quest. Uh, but, I, I mean, that remains to be seen. I, I've never done this mod before. Those silver arrows, let me tell you, though. <laughs> Those silver arrows kind of saved our life. <laughs> if she if she wasn't specced with silver arrows, I mean, we would have just roadblocked right there because I have no magic damage. <laughs> that would have been quite unfortunate.
L- luckily, one of us was prepared. And, and it was the mod creator. It wasn't me. <laughs> the mod creator at least knew. Some, some idiot is going to do this at level one. They're going to forget to get a silver weapon or a magic weapon. You know, maybe I should let Marriott do, a, do some help here. Powerhouse. Yeah, we'll take it. I We lucked out there. She was... Uh, that is a weird... Empathic. Welcome in. Love your YouTube videos. Thank you so much. I'm glad. I'm glad that you love them. That makes me happy to hear. Yeah, she is a powerhouse, though. Let me tell you. the, the Another fun little thing about Morrowind is... All the pro- the projectiles. If you hit the projectile in the air with another projectile, it will trigger it. So I I don't know if uh, folks saw when the guy threw his spell, and then Mariette shot an arrow. It the arrow hit the spell in midair and triggered the spell, so it didn't kill her. <laughs> so we actually lucked out pretty hard on that one. Because I think the guy one shot both of us. Uh, I remember on one of those saves, it it took her down in one shot, too. I will say, though, that is when you're when you're outmatched by a spellcaster. That is one good thing about Morrowind is, is since you can't just passively regen Magicka, if you can outlast them and get them into like to like use a weapon you know you can actually you can actually win the fight um cuz not many people have like some you know match absorb magicka or so, sometimes they do uh have a way to, or they'll have potions or something but most spellcasters don't have a way to restore their magicka so even if you're going to get one shot by one of their spells as long as you can dodge it enough then they'll have to pull out a dagger or something and then you can just you know fight him one-on-one -on -one and take him down. My That's insane. I, yeah. The little the little details. I, I think we've, we've mentioned that a couple times now. All the little details add up. Imagine not being an Atronach, right? <laughs> I was trying to be a boring adventurer in Videntia. I know. <laughs> Atronach is so good, though. Absolutely. I was like, we're doing the Adventurer's Guild. I need to be like, you know, some some D and D esque character here. And so I picked the guy with you know the cherry wood haircut, and uh, yeah, just like. What is the most bland character I can make? I'm going to make a human that uses a sword and a shield and can heal himself. Done. <laughs> yeah, the 50% absorb. Well, I don't know. You know, I wonder how much thought they really put into balancing back in the day. <laughs> right? 2001... We were probably in dev in 2000, you know, 99. And, you know, they're not broken immediately. Like, you know, it'll be fine. 50% is a lot, though. Although just the flat percentage system is inherently kind of broken anyways. Like, if that's how you're scaling... Uh, Kind of an, an easy, definitely an easy way to get overpowered fast. If you're just using flat percentages for everything. Come on, Mariette. We're, we're almost there. All right, we have... Our beautiful, beautiful Silt Strider here on the horizon. We have this, you know, badass warrior woman who saved our life. 
I thought I was supposed to be helping her. It apparently is the other way around. Count of Soros, welcome in. Never seen the live stream. Well, you don't ever, you can't ever say that again because you're here now. Welcome in. <laughs> um, this is actually not Eldrin. This is Margon. So I need to go. I need to go take a little bit of an adventure over here on the Silt Strider. The only tragedy is they calculate independently. So you can't stack 100% constantly. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. We make a special trick just for you. Um, I'm going to save. I'm going to quick save right before I travel. Because if anything is going to happen dumb in Morrowind, it's always when you're fast traveling. Oh, my gosh. I, can, I, I can't count the amount of times that I've crashed on a fast travel and just lost, you know, hours of progress. Never say, ne only say never once. There you go. Galaxy brain. Very true. Very true. We have returned, ladies and gentlemen, to the Adventurer's Guild. Mariette has not yet. She's uh, lost in the storm. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. All right. <laughs> Uh, who do I talk to? I mean, you're the one who gave me the quest. Do I talk to you again? Duty? Oh, here you go. Well, since you helped me out a lot, you deserve 200 gold and not 150. Uh, take 200 or 150. Well, come on. I mean, I'm... I've never known an adventurer not to take more than, than offered. I'll take the 200, you know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Even even though she's the one that we should be paying for saving our lives. But that's beside the point. Uh, she doesn't need to know that. Here you go and thanks again. Okay, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Adventurer's Guild, round one complete. It went... Honestly, that's, that's about what I expected to happen. That's why I threw the death counter on the stream. I was like, anytime, anytime I freaking start a mod at level one... It always goes sideways somehow. Even if the mod creator's like, yeah, it's for level one. You know, it's... <laughs> if you actually spec, like, a normal level one character and not like, let me break Morrowind in 30 seconds and be level one, but in reality I'm like level 10. Um, you know, <laughs> this kind of stuff always happens. Alright, uh, let me talk to her again. I wonder if she has another quest. She does. Okay. I have another duty I could use some help on. This one is for 400 gold. Okay, moving up in the world. I need to go into Red Mountain and go to Masur Caverns, which is northeast of Aldrun, and fetch a poisonous claymore. It is just south of the Dwimmer Ruin Viminal. Could you help me out? Um. Oh, my God. She's going to want to travel with us, so I'm going to say I'm too busy. And I want to go get, like I said, I want to go get some other. I want to go get some other items before we commit to another Mariette adventure. Because that one went, you know, that, that one went sideways pretty fast. <laughs> Is that your trusty follower? Well, she wants to adventure again. Maybe not a follower, but a compatriot. You know, she's our, she's a companion, right? Not a follower, she's a companion. I only and I, I give her that credit because uh, she bailed us out pretty hard. I love watching your videos before bed. Calms me down. I just wake up. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, I'm I'm just I'm just happy people are watching. Right, watching while you sleep. You know, freaking sitting on the couch, on the TV, on the computer, on the phone. Just don't do it while you drive, and I'm happy. <laughs> So that's awesome to hear. All right, here we go. Rolling up. Um, we're going to get the Sword of White Woe. What if I do it while driving a hard bargain? <laughs> that's... I don't know why I find that incredibly funny to read. 
you're in like this high powered business meeting, you know, you've got like CEOs and directors and all these freaking powerful people. And, you know, people think you're like taking notes or something. Really, you just got, you know, the latest fucking how to morrow in video like down here. Like, I'm sorry, guys, this is very important. No, he's about to get to the build section. Don't talk to me. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, CEO of uh, of uh, Exxon Mobil. I don't know. <laughs> I can't talk right now. Coffee's coffee's in the middle of something. <laughs> Got a level mercantile. Yeah, that's. You'd have to have a pretty high charisma to do that to pull that one off. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get over here. Uh, ooh, so I'm hidden right now. I think I'm too far away. Oh, is my character not tall enough? Oh my god. Okay, it should be hidden right here. Quick save. Oh, it's right there. I don't know if I'm close enough. Okay, here we go. Oh, so close. I may do the other strat where I, I I could pull him down. Make sure I'm still in the blind spot. Yeah. Oh, so close. There we go. All right, now we have a magical weapon, a very good one. So hopefully we don't disappoint Mariette again. <laughs> Fell in love with spear builds. Hey, that's a good one to do it with. Nice, big endurance, you know, massive pecs. Uh... Be it the backpedaling and, you know, being able to, like, keep people off of you. Spears are freaking phenomenal. <laughs> You're watching his Marwin video again. Yep. Yes. Sir. <laughs> Short King problems. That's right. You know, when you're the, the you got to gotta roll Ultima, I guess, and have that, have that height advantage. That's fair, empathetics. Yeah, emphatic. Sorry, that is fair. They do feel. It does feel a little weird. I agree with that, it's for sure. It's like I'm like this is like Elder Scrolls, but not. Is that something? I really hope they add spears back in, though. I feel like uh, weapon diversity is something that is lacking in modern RPGs. Um, I guess I want to go freaking Caldera. Oh, one second. Who dares call me while I stream? Mm. All right, onward. Shiny Argonian Pex. There you go. Scaled. May I help you? Please? May I help you? No. No, you may not. Uh, do I have anything to sell to the creeper? Not really, actually. Do you want something from me? We didn't really get much loot from that. Do you need something? Guitar in the background. They're in the background, over here, over there. They're all over the place in this room. Is the do your alt account? No. <laughs> Sadly not. I, I'm not familiar with the do. Is that another uh, another YouTuber? I, do, I, I know my way around a nice guitar, though. Go ahead. The most historic 
historically impactful weapon outside of ballistics. Completely forgotten in medieval games. Sell him your body. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> but it is true. Yeah, like, the weapon that everyone actually used is the one that gets left out. Uh, I, I, I think they were in... They were in chivalry, right? Like, Spears were in chivalry. I think. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure Spears were at least in chivalry. And I know they were in Mord How. But like RPGs, they don't get a lot of love in RPGs. Like maybe in medieval combat games, but not really RPGs. Just going to run by the hut, dude? Well, I'm not an axe build. Uh, that's the only reason why. Otherwise, you know, Cloud Cleaver. He looks like he's cleaved a few clouds. That's for sure. Get back here. I want your boots. You there. Bimini. Let's talk. Let's make a deal. Sure. All right. Let's go. <laughs> uh, make sure nothing else. Okay, yeah, yeah. Onward. We are here on a mission count. And the mission is boots. Adventurer's Guild is just going to send us all over the world, so I think the the need for speed is going to be going to be very important. So we'll we'll do this, and then we'll hop on another quest with Mariette, and hopefully not disappoint her as much as we did the first time. <laughs> it's that first one, you know, we didn't leave the best impression. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got you, Mariette. Don't worry, don't worry about me. And then, you know, she has to save us. <laughs> there you go, Invidentia. That is what they... What them boots do, though. They walk. That is the answer. I thought they were made for blinding. Well, they're multifaceted. They're, uh... They're very complex boots. Very deep character. They blind, they walk, they do it all. Sound like a salesman. I sound like a boot salesman. <laughs> Not only do these boots blind, they also walk. And quickly at that. Slaps boots. These boots can run faster than anything I've seen. <laughs> These babies will run for miles. <laughs> Mariette, my beloved. Ah, uh, so so quickly we grow attached. <laughs> Although, hey, she saved our life, though. I mean, if you're gonna... That, that is a better reason than most. To, to swoon. The Wolf of Vivek Street. Now we're talking. That sound that sounds like an intriguing an intriguing film. Instead of Quaaludes, they're they're all addicted to skooma. <laughs> oh my god. Replace all the coke with moon sugar. And you got hey, that could that could be actually that could be pretty pretty good film. your life as a salesman sell marwin players boots of blinding speed yeah it's a bargain most of us have struck that's right new playthrough sucker <laughs> got him <laughs> that is very true the next build that would be pretty funny like a mercantile build 
there are some mods that like make mercantile more relevant. Could be a video idea. Right? Yeah, it could be a video idea. What is the most interesting Morrowin dungeon in your opinion? Um, gosh, I am blanking on the name right now, but one of my personal favorites is always the one with the maze and the uh, the, like the Viking burial. I'm blanking on the name. Oh God, <laughs> you and Crassius against the world. That's pretty funny. All, uh, also, fun fact, Pimini is a criminal. Um, she's called the traitor. She's, like, I believe she's a bootlegger, or like a smuggler, if I remember correctly. So, take that for what you will. I wasn't really taking that anywhere, I was, I was more just sharing it. <laughs> Nah, ha, ha, yeah, yeah, dang, dang. <laughs> Certainly that. I can call her many things, and uh, bootlegger is one of them. It's also the best description. Be well. Also, this this town, Narmak, depressing. Not a lot going on in Narmak. May I help you? What do you think of our city? All right, so we got our boots. Um, I need to go to the Mage's Guild and make our resist magicka so that we can actually wear them. And then we can return to Trigun's beloved Marriott and continue our ad adventuring out into the sticks of Morrowind. Let me see. I still don't really have any good loot. I guess the boots of blinding speed is like it. Dun, 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 dun. Move along. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to walk here. Thank you. What is the creepiest dungeon? Hmm. Base game? Or just in general, I I really enjoyed uh, there. I guess this is like a I both. <laughs> let me tell, let me give you a both answer. Um, I I thought the Androno Ancestral Tomb Remastered mod was really good, and kind of made this normal dungeon that you do every time you play Morrowind into like quite an epic delve, and it increased the amount of Bone Walkers and bones and. Like, all that stuff, like, tenfold. So that one was pretty cool, actually. Is this another Adventurer's Guild? Oh, sweet. Okay. There's one in Vivek, too, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yes, let me what see. I think there's someone here who sells Resist Magicka. Favorite type of coffee blend slash brew. I go through, like... Di I, 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 I cycle uh, on interests. So, gosh, I don't know. See, I'll go on, like, kicks where I'll be like, I'm only going to drink espresso for, like, these three months. And then, you know, I'm only going to do, like, you know, just friggin' pour over or something. I, I, I didn't even have, like, a coffee maker, actually. I was, I was one of those freaking savages <laughs> or people who are too into coffee and like always did pour over every day forever um i def i but like i said like i go on kicks like i always like to try new stuff and and uh different things right now you know just a good light 
roast, you know, fantastic. May I help you? Oh, very nice. Look at that. Very, very nice. You got a nice uh, bot. First bot of the stream. Fantastic. <laughs> Making me want some coffee. Well, hey, you know, never a bad time. That's that's what I say. Yeah, it's rare. Like I always just buy new. Like I, I, I like to just try new stuff. To be, to be fair. But I just, it's its more the amount. <laughs> I drink a ridiculous amount of coffee. All right, I'm going to go to Balmora. We'll, we'll stay at, live at our house. Who has resist magicka? I know someone at the temple does. I may just go there instead of searching through everybody's inventory. Make you want coffee. That's, that's right. I think I already read that. Fair trade black Trader Joe's does have good coffee. You know, people can say what they want about grocery store coffee, but let me tell you, you know, it it there's a lot of good stuff out there. Iced Americano with a shot of cream. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. I had an Americano <laughs> an Americano phase in college where I wasn't quite ready to just, you know, fill a mug full of espresso directly, I would, I would make Americanos instead. That sounds very good. I bought, when I had, so at my last apartment, I had a Trader Joe's, like, pretty close to it, and I used to go there a lot. I used to buy their freaking coffee all the time. Yeah, they were really good. Um... Let me see. Uh, that's not spells. Uh, go ahead and get alms, alms of E. Let me see. Where? Resist Magicka. Magicka Guard. I do not have enough money, though. Okay, well. Let's go on a quest for more money. <laughs> this is... We are, we are in early game problems right now. Actually, that person will buy my raw glass. So... We may be able to get our spell, but we won't be able to make the next one. Alright, so I think we can buy it now. Heavy cream, nice. <laughs> it went from gross to addictive. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. Don't you, you, you can you can do that really quick with uh, like a really freaking good creamer. I'm a savage. I'll, I, I'll take that back. I'll use creamer every now and then. Um, I usually just take it black, personally. <laughs> you bet your glass he'll buy it. That man over there, bet your sweet glass he'll take all you can give him. That man, he loves glass. That's all about him. Uh, this person will buy none of my stuff. Okay. Well, we need we need thirty nine more gold. Let me go back into town. and I think I can sell... Oh, I got all my Dwimmer coins. I'll sell me Dwimmer coins to the pawnbroker. Luckily, he's into, I guess, coin trading or something. Still repping the gross phase. There you go. You know, you could do... I, so, I started drinking coffee at a stupid... Yeah, I was probably like 12 or 13... Because uh, my freaking parents always had it. Like, my dad always drank a bunch. And he'd always have a pot, like, you know, he'd drink, like, a freaking pot and a half a day or some crap. So he always had it around. So I was just like, oh, let me try this out. And I remember I hated it. I was like, why would any adult ever subject themselves to this idiocy? Like, this is ridiculous. This is the most disgusting drink ever. I hate it. <laughs> and then, And then I found out what a Frappuccino was. <laughs> In, like, freaking middle school. And then, uh, you know, that becomes, well, you know, let me just get, like, a, a iced coffee that's, like, half cream. And then and then you, as you become more hardened and grizzled and addictive, it just turns into black coffee. And there's, there's no going back at that point. <laughs> All 
All right, what do I have left? Uh, I can get rid of my freaking... Or no, I shouldn't. I should hold on to the Iron Saber in case I break the Sword of White Woe. I've done that a thousand times where I have a freaking item. And I, I don't look at the condition and, and shatter it. And then I'm like, stuck. Easiest way to make tons of money in Morrowind. So Rebirth, I'm not sure off the top of my head all the changes that Rebirth makes. But in base game, uh, enchanting, I would say. Enchanting or potion or alchemy, they're both pretty busted, to be completely honest. You can do, for enchanting, uh, if, if you've seen my like how to enchant video... I show how to get just endless soul gems, and then you can uh, you can kill golden saints and trap their souls without actually fighting them by spawning them in lava. So you can just have an endless farm of grand soul gems and uh, golden saint souls, and those sell for you know freaking tens of thousands. And then with alchemy, as soon as you get in the loop of just making po more powerful and more powerful and more powerful potions, of course the value also grows exponentially so those are those are definitely the easiest ways i'm listening go ahead they're the most broken ways but but they're also the most e the easiest <laughs> the finest set of apprentice repair hammers there you go in Videntia, hey you're right, you pulled you pulled the the Wolf of Wall Street, frickin' the the pin salesman on me. Damn it! I gotta I gotta buy some freaking repair hammers now. Go ahead. I think I actually have some. I'm smarter now. You know, usually I keep some on me, but I have I've been caught I've been caught empty-handed before. All right, do we have anything that we need over here, uh, Mark? Actually, I don't have any skill and alteration because I said I wasn't going to use any spell casting. I feel like Mark and Recall are uh, free though. I feel like you have to have those to play the game. Uh, in your culture, children drink coffee very young. Cur Turkish coffee from the age of four. Oh, Turkish, Turkish coffee is awesome. So much bottom gloop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. If you drink it low, Turkish coffee is uh, not so good. But when you do it, when they do it right, I had a, I had a friend who used to do it a little bit every now and then, um, as like a dessert. Like we'd have it with dessert, uh, and it, you know, it's just like super sugary. It's awesome. Not something I have had in years, but it is very good. <laughs> True count. Counts right. Yeah. You know, it's like Drano, but for your body. Holy shit, there's an Adventurer's Guild in Balmora. Oh my god. They're all over the freaking place. Okay, nice. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, making the Resist Magic a spell. Let's do that. And let's see if I can cast it, because my guy's an idiot. Hopefully we can. I guess I gotta... Let me join the Mage's Guild. Um, CV, Divine, Cure Common Disease. I'll just grab all the potions. It's becoming a franchise. Yeah, it's growing. It's growing out of control. Their their uh, their scaling is incredible. Greetings out. All right, spell making, uh, boots. One hundred for one on self. Do I need to do two? I'm trying to remember. I think I can do it with one. We'll try that. There are some things that may have been fixed in Open Morrowind. There are some spell effects. I can't remember what they are, but there are some that. If you put it on one second instead of two, sometimes the game engine will miss it. And it actually won't do anything. Not every time, but sometimes. So, 
I think it's only on on hit maybe that that was the bug. Uh, maybe it wasn't on self, but I remember that being a bug. All right, I actually have a 62% chance. That's pretty nice. Slim copper pots and dark rounds. Nice. Yeah, the copper pot is the... Th I think you're like... And, and when they do it at like a restaurant or something, they do like the whole shebang where they have the sand and stuff. But I remember my buddy used to... Yeah, he used to just make it on the stove. 50% of the time, it works every time. Exactly. And that's how you know it's the real deal. All right, we got it on. We got it on. Ladies and gentlemen, we're mobile. All right, now Marietta's going to be very impressed with us. So we can go back to Eltrune. <laughs> okay, do I need anything else? Hold on. Alms of E, Divine, Mark Recall. Oh, I didn't get Divine Intervention, but we can live without that. I got a scroll. Uh, boots. I got a better sword, so I don't look like a fool again in front of, in front of Marriott. I think I'm good to go. Let's let's freaking do it. Let's, let's uh, grip it and rip it, as John Daly would say. <laughs> don't know why that was on my mind, but. I am going to grab some more healing potions uh, from this chest. Can never have too many healing potions. Alright, what is weighing me down? Is that just my armor? I think it's my armor and then these standard potions. Oh, it's all these cheap ones. That's what's weighing me down. Okay. Maybe you can have too many. Actually, I'll burn through them so the weight doesn't really matter. Because I'll just be drinking them. Morrowind Husbando? Ooh. Gosh. There's so many good ones to choose from. Hmm. I don't know. So probably... I mean... The character that I've always, I don't know, had had such an affinity for, for no reason, is Secusius Urgala. I freaking, I just love, ah, yes. I'm like, that lives rent-free in my head. <laughs> like, I don't know why. I've always freaking loved Secusius. So maybe Secusius, I don't, like, should I not think too deep into that? My immediate, like, knee-jerk reaction was, oh, it's, oh, it's freaking Secusius Urgala. Like, what a freaking god. Crassus Curio? No. <laughs> no. Caius. Yeah, it could be Caius. Uh, yeah, everybody loves Caius. Everybody loves Caius. Welcome into stream. Welcome into stream, Chocobo. Uh, we got... Ca Cra oh, yeah. Invidentia. Invidentia, you know... I, I would expect that, you know, Choke would be the one saying that it's Crassius Curio, not you. Come on. <laughs> All right. We got Mariette. Let's, uh, let's head on the way. I have another duty that I could use some help on. This one is for 400 gold. I need to go into Red Mountain and go to Masur Caverns, which is northeast of Aldrun, and fetch a poisonous claymore. It is just south of the Dwemer Ruin of Viminal. Could you help me out on this one? I can help you out. I, I, I'm ready for the job. And now she's got her Iron Man armor on. She's ready to kick some ass. Get those silver arrows ready, marionette. Not, no, Marriott, not marionette. That's a, that's a, that's like a doll, right? A marionette, isn't that like, or, or a puppet. I can't remember. Watch on YouTube. Nice, nice. Damn entertain. I will take it. Hey. Thank you for enjoying the videos. I'm glad I'm glad folks enjoy them. I always love hearing that. As long as people will watch them, I'll keep making them. So here, here. Glad you stopped by on the stream. You'd wine and dine Dagoth. You have you have a you, you like a <laughs> you like men in powerful positions, it's it seems. <laughs> 
are, are, do you just like overlook the whole blight thing? You're like, you know, let me just turn a blind eye. That's like a huge red flag. And, and But you're like, hey, what that golden mask do though? You know? <laughs> the blight, hold on, keep, go, keep the blight. Uh, <laughs> what the golden mask do? All right, where are we going? I forgot. I, I totally got distracted by, by the the debate here. Where are we going, Mary, uh, Mariette? We're going to Red Mountain, right? Actually. Yeah, we're going to the Menal. Um, so I guess we need to head outside Aldrun and head, head over to the Ghost Gate. <laughs> I can fix him. That's what they all say. <laughs> I can fix him, I swear. Dagoth? Yeah, Dagoth, I'm sure. I'm sure he has some, uh... I'm sure he, he has some controversial opinions. Although, y you know, mainly related to, like, genocide. <laughs> because he wants to, you know, kill all the mongrel dogs in Morrowind. <laughs> good old, good old Dagoth. Oh, you let you did, did you leave me? Did you leave me hanging on that one? Or or she? Oh, she was probably in the back shooting arrows. What am I talking about? <laughs> you mentioned Dagoth once, and everybody everybody in chat starts catching feelings. <laughs> uh, I should probably go the other way. Let's go, let's go the other way, Mariette. We've got to... Shit, we're about to go to Dagoth's home. We're trying to get to Red Mountain. I'm not going to stop by and say hello for emphatic, though, sadly. It's, uh, it's too early. It's too early. We can't... We can't see Dagoth yet. We've got to build the suspense. Uh, uh, distance makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> Thanks for the assist on that one, Mariette. I gotta say, she is hauling ass. Like, I have on the boots of blinding speed, and she's keeping up pretty good. I, what are your stats, Marriott? Marriott's a freaking badass. There we go. It's like a D1 sprinter over here. I keep getting distracted by cliff racers. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's head up, head back this way. Isn't the freaking where's the freaking entrance? It's like over here. Yeah. I always get lost coming outside, coming out of Aldru and trying to get back over there. Oh, did we lose her? Did she get stuck on pathfinding? Okay, no, there she is. That's the problem with companions, you know? Sometimes they just can't keep up. They can't take the heat. Oh, God. No, I killed a scrib. My streak of no scrib killing is over. Crap. <laughs> I did it on accident. I think I actually already killed one earlier in the stream, too. Uh, but, sorry. <laughs> and I, know, I know some folks are very, very against scrib killing. I apologize. I would like... I'll, I'll go ahead. I would like to make a public apology. I did not mean to kill the scrib. It was It was reflex. Uh, reflexive murder. <laughs> Something tells me that that's not a good defense in court. I'm, I'm sorry, officer. It was a knee-jerk reaction, officer. I had no control. I had no control. Sir, that was someone's pet. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the, what the hell is wrong with you? That was someone's pet. Nice little scrib. Heartless. <laughs> I 
<laughs> there was like this old web comic that made me think of that, where it was Mario and Luigi, and they were like walking down the side of the road. And, uh, oh no, is she finding something? Okay. What? Oh god, it, oh, I thought she was shooting at me. Okay. But yeah, it was Mario and Luigi, and they were walking down the side of the road, and there's like this little girl like who has her turtle out in, in the yard, like on a leash. I was like, ah, oh, look at my turtle. And Mario <laughs> runs over and like stomps it to death. Because <laughs> he thinks it's like a Koopa. <laughs> and that, for some reason, the script killing made me think of that. <laughs> God. I don't know. That was like, that is that is an ancient webcomic. I don't know why I thought about that. You the man, thank you, Alaskan Meowth, for stopping by and sharing the kind words. Your honor, it is not dead. It is clearly just paralyzed. <laughs> That's right. Your honor, it, it may be in three pieces, but did we ever consider if the scrib wanted to be in three pieces? It's kind of like that, yeah, yeah. I think it's because there's not really a reason to kill them, and they make cute noises. I think it's it's just that they're cute, uh, that the, uh, you know, it's looked down on. Because they are freaking adorable. Faction members only? What is, what is this? Some freaking tribunal crap? All right. All right, screw y'all. Hold on, do you sell Sujama? Uh, it never hurts to have some Sujama in the back pocket. Sijama. That's not how you spell it. There we go. How much gold do I have? I have 63. Okay, I can buy... I'll buy one. I want to have a little bit of gold in my pocket. You never know when you might, might want to, you know, just get booze-fueled and, and uh, need that extra strength. Haha. <laughs> They approach with violent intent. That that scrib premeditated its assault. All right, we're at Red Mountain. Uh, we got to go to the Menal. If if this I can't remember if this is one of the ones with a freaking ash vampire, and we're doing this again, uh, level one. Man, we're getting, we're, we, we may tick that counter up a few more times. We're already at five. I'll have to look back. I think we may be at six. I think one of them didn't didn't count when I uh, when I was getting slapped by the freaking vampire. Just noticed the counter. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, it's not you know it shouldn't be too too in the way. Oh god, I need a rest. I keep forgetting. That has no charge. I need to sleep for like five days. Although we're gonna we're in a pretty uh brutal part of the map, so we're not gonna be able to sleep for too long without being interrupted. Let me check. 155? How much charge do we get per day? 145-ish? Okay, so we need to sleep, like, a couple more days. Oh, the, the first Dark Brotherhood! Oh my god, we're... We're an, uh, almost two hours into the stream, and we didn't... We hadn't got a single Dark Brotherhood. Holy crap. That never happens. They usually spawn immediately. <laughs> Holy crap. And he waited till Red Mountain. <laughs> what the... All right. Our subject is in the most dangerous part of the island. Now's the time. Now's the time to attack. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't die on the way here. Or, or maybe that's why it took them so long to find me. Just getting wrecked on their way up here. Freaking Ash Slave. That shock damage is a problem. Well, 
Uh, pretty big problem. It's, uh, your position? Just trying to, like, move out of the way of the, the shock attacks. Oh my god, we're getting swarmed. Come on, Mariette, help! I need you to save me again. Long blade to 48. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Alright, there were two arrows in him. There were two arrows. So she was helping out. She was doing her part. Thank you, Mariette. Thank you, thank you. Come on now. Come on. There we go. All right, we're looking for the menal. It's going to take us a minute to get over there with all the enemies that are in this place. Because I can't really leave them because she'll start fighting them even if I just run by. And we don't want her to get lost and killed. So we kind of got to stake stay close and make sure that we clear everything out so that our companion doesn't get taken down. Who knew that uh, who knew that uh, taking uh, companions with you were uh, a hassle? I never would have guessed it. <laughs> Experience exploitation. There you go. You got to got to get them where you can. Uh, does your companion level with you? So, that's actually an interesting question. She's not technically a companion. Uh, just a follower for this quest. I do not know if NPCs gain experience. That's actually a deep cut knowledge. I don't think they do, because there would be no point, because they can't level up, actually. Uh, so I'm actually going to go out on a limb and say no. I, I don't think they do. That would be intriguing, though. If there was like a, you know, a companion leveling mechanic. That would be kind of cool. Oh god, we're getting swarmed again. What they say about cliff racers is true. <laughs> there we go. You know, Mariette, you're actually quite helpful. <laughs> So I, we're, we're almost there. Uh, I think that's actually just the path up to the freaking crater. So I'm wondering if it's up here. I think this is one of the ash zombie ones. Or vampire. Ash vampire ones. Oh. Is she stuck? Okay, there. <laughs> oh, God. I thought she was glitched out on the bridge. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, Mariette. Come on. Are you scared of heights? What? Do I need to? Do I need to help you through this? Mary, Mariette, wake up! Get off the bridge! Come on! Oh my God, Mariette! Come on! Oh God, is she is she scared of bridges? Don't tell me you gave me a follower that's scared of heights. You're almost there. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh god, this is some Maru this is some Marwin magic right here. Ah oh god, can I like hop behind her and push her? No? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh no, don't go this way. Crap. Come on, come this way. Here, Mariette. Come on. <laughs> what do I do in this position? <laughs> I've got... Uh, I've got silver arrows over here. Oh, look. It's... It's... It's Dagoth. 
He's, he's right over here. Rest? Actually, not a bad idea. I know there's some enemies over there. Have <laughs> you tried turning her off and on again? I don't know if the Adventurer's Guild HR would like that. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Travel together. Follow me. Let's go, associate. Come on. <laughs> we came so far. <laughs> And this is this is the roadblock? I thought it was gonna be like a really difficult enemy. Or something. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and in the end it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Maybe if I just like run really far. Rubber band or like a like a Mario Kart NPC. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Marietta is showing her age. Yeah, she's, she's having a senior moment. <laughs> she can't get over here. God damn it, Mariette. No. Oh. God, I don't want to, like, hit her. Come on. Wait here. Okay, I'll wait here. All right, all right, all right. Travel together. Follow me. Come on. I have never seen this bug. This is so weird. Does she, will she go this way? I guess any direction is better than nothing. She's like frozen, frozen. Uh, I'll try... Uh, let, me, let me just make sure I got her to follow me. Okay, follow me. Let's go. Okay. Okay, okay, that's progress, that's progress. Come this way. Yeah, she just gets frozen on that, on that like, square. Oh, she moved, she moved, yes, yes, yes. Come, 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 come. Baby steps, she was taking a couple steps there. Apparently just spamming in random directions like is somewhat helpful. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and Emphatic, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. I'm gonna try and uh toggle collision, see if I can like pull her straight out. Oh my god. <laughs> I did get Mark and Recall. I guess I could cast it, like, right here. Yeah, that makes sense. That's worth it. It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Hopefully she's not hard stuck. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to cast it, because I have no alteration. I have a 2% chance. Okay, <laughs> well. Uh, save and reload. I'm actually going to try that first, because she's right there. Sadly, that did not do the magic. Okay, mark and recall. Let's see, does she... I have willpower potions. Let me just pop every one. That gives me a 14% chance. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work. <laughs> oh my god. This is pretty great. This is such a... Freaking! This is as Morrowind as it gets. Should I just cut? Oh, hold on. I'm. I'm okay. All right. I, I usually don't use console commands, uh, but this is an extraneous circumstance. So, uh, player, uh, we're gonna set alteration to a thousand. It's alteration, right? Oh, it's freaking mysticism. Okay. Well, let me set my alteration back to five. Player, set alteration five. I have to spell it right. Uh, player, set <laughs> mysticism 
To a thousand. Okay. So now I can't fail the mark and recall. So we're going to try and mark. And we're going to try and recall. Damn it. No, she doesn't follow me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Well, uh, this is where you live now, apparently. Um, damn it. <laughs> I know... I know I can... Sp so they'll follow you through Silt Striders. So I can ask her to wait here. Okay, this is going to get really convoluted. <laughs> She's going to wait here. I suppose. We'll spawn a Silt Strider driver when we're done with the quest over here. So we'll deliver the item to her. We'll trout... We'll, we'll take the Silt Strider person that I spawned and we'll take them back to wherever. And then hopefully she should follow. So I think that should be good. Uh, let's just hope she's safe over there and everything's hunky-dory. <laughs> Some puzzle game shit, that's right. That's what, uh, that's, that's, that's what Marwin does to you sometimes. So we're not, we're not gonna have her back up though, which is a problem. Because we're still a level one. South of the Dwimmer Room in Viminal. Okay, so we should actually start looking for these caves. I could do a reset actors. I wonder if that would spawn her back at the... Spawn her back in Aldrune, actually. That is worth... That's actually worth a shot, too, if I don't just want to, like, spawn a random silt driver driver over here. <laughs> over here in Red Mountain. This guy's chilling at home and just gets freaking teleported to Red Mountain. <laughs> All right. Uh, fix me command? Yeah, it's worth a shot. Well, we'll, f we'll find a way around it. Uh, I I'm kind of committed to just doing the quest now and hoping she's still alive over there. Let me grab a non-quick save. So let's call this Andy1. No, you're good. I'm, we're, we're problem solving at the moment. Um, but I am just going to look for this cave. So the Dwarmer Ruin is actually this way. They're off? They sh shouldn't be off. Why would they be off? Hold on. Let me double check. Uh, if they are, I deeply apologize. Ah, the source is off. Let me check. Riot, yes. <laughs> riot, we riot now. Burn it down. Strimmer lies. He is a bad man. <laughs> Just excited to see Marwin. Hey, I'm glad. I, I should actually probably go up and then down a mountain the other way. Because it said it's south. Uh, so south, it's probably like here-ish. He'll <laughs> improve Marwin's infrastructure. That's right. You get a silt strider. You get a, everybody gets a silt strider. I haven't played one in a bit. Oh, well, you know. If if it's not calling to you, it's not calling to you. That's okay. You only get one ride on this space rock. If you ain't enjoying something, don't do it. I've been playing WoW. H, uh, WoW is it hardcore? What is HC? I'm not familiar with HC. I'm assuming WoW is World of Warcraft, though. Oh, God, we got a freaking cliff racer. The good thing is, um, Mariette is still here. Hardcore WoW. Okay, nice, nice. 
Boots of Blinding speed tip is great. Yes. I got them on right now. Freaking can't can't beat some good old Boots of Blinding speed. One life. Whoa. Yeah, that's hardcore. Uh, never do a raid. Uh, <laughs> never do high-level dungeons until you're fully geared. Oh my god, I can't imagine the salt that healers would get if you lose your one life. Healers already get abused in normal. Wow. <laughs> your priest died last night. There you go. R.I.P. Do you need something? All right. Uh, well, Mariette, I'm just gonna leave you and start looking for these caves. My buddy used to play a priest when we were playing WoW, and he, he quit playing priest because everybody would just flame him in the dungeons. <laughs> Everybody would just blame him all the time. And he's like, you know, he's like, nobody else ever gets blamed. Like, the only people who ever get in trouble are the priests and the tanks. Everybody else, you know, people could care less whether you did good or not. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. Oh, I'm blighted. I didn't even know I was blighted. Hold on. Yeah, let me cure that blight. Holy crap. I was like, I feel I feel stuck. Tanks and healers are the most important. Very true. And I'm blighted again! Holy shit. <laughs> Should have bought more blight potions. Um let me grab a healing potion. And let me grab a fatigue potion. Instantly noticeable. Very true. I was always a tank. I enjoyed playing good old good old paladins or warriors. Stop healing. Stop healing and let me kill you. I gotta I gotta remember to recharge my weapon. Oh god, this is uh this is this is Classic Morrowind getting swarmed here. Getting swarmed early game when you don't have your freaking levels. Oh my god, he's gonna keep healing. You know what? <laughs> we're just we're just gonna forget about them. <laughs> we're just gonna forget about them and go find the caves. Since Mariette isn't following us anymore, we actually don't need to murder everything that we find. I'm just attacking this rat, because hopefully we'll kill it before the others get to us. And I still need to level up. Come on now. Uh, let's not get killed by the rat. That would not be great. Man, we are really in need of Marriott. We're just missing like crazy because our freaking in. Is that our agility? Oh no, it's our intelligence and our willpower. I was about to say, is our is our agility getting struck by the blight? But it's actually not. It's intelligence and willpower. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> well, you control with your with your uh, you know, your bits. There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. I like that kind of writing. That's a good kind of writing. All right, Masur Caves. We made it. This is where we needed to go. You know, we got the bits right as soon as you know we get you get the bits. We find where we need to go. I'm not. I'm sensing a correlation. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let this one roll. <laughs> At. 
there you go. <laughs> and so it is done. Yes, the fatigue. I didn't want to, like, just burn all my potions on a rat. I get very prideful with my, uh, freaking, <laughs> whatchamacallum, with my, uh, potions. Hey, we got a lot of ebony, ebony veins over here. Um, let me check one thing. Hold on a second. Adjusting something. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, Marwin, zero stat challenge yet. I have not. You know what? We'll do that. We'll do that at some point in the week. I like that idea. I should have more free time this coming up week, so I'm planning on doing some more streams and then getting another video out. So, we can do that. I'll do that next stream as a break from the Adventurers Guild. We'll do Adventurers today, and then I'll I'll do the zero stat. <laughs> see, how, see how brutal the game is. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to last on that one. <laughs> That's going to be rough. Like, at what point is it just unfun? <laughs> oh, God. There's fire atronachs here? Okay, that's a... That's a problem. Although, I mean, prime content is just watching streamers suffer, though. So, you know, I know. I know that'd be pretty... Pretty good. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the, 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 the stay away, stay away. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to kill that guy. We are level two. We are blighted. We are struggling. Um, a couple stats. That, yeah, that is true. Yeah, like if, if you put your endurance to zero, I think you would just you would just die because <laughs> your your health would be nothing. Strength would also probably need to be one cuz otherwise you couldn't uh you couldn't move cuz everything would be encumbrance so i think you'd have to leave strength at 1 and endurance at 1 but everything else could go to 0 cuz like i if you put strength to 0 doesn't your uh wouldn't wouldn't just wearing a shirt <laughs> like wouldn't that put you encumbered <laughs> got to drag it back. <laughs> that's pretty funny Ah, stop. The problem would be zero agility. Just not being able to hit anything. Actually, zero agility and zero strength would be horrific because that's your damage. I guess if you did a... Well, no, you couldn't even do a mage because you'd have no magicka. Like, okay, does the ch okay here here does would the challenge have to would that just involve base stats or would that also be like after birth signs? Because if you have a zero whatever, but you take your uh yeah, bring your papers. That's right, Larkit. Yeah, right. That's right. Oh, that must be our poison claymore. There you go, the poisonous claymore. 32,000 gold. Poison one to two for 15 seconds. Holy crap. Okay, well, we got our claymore. And we're loaded down with raw ebony as well, which is nice. Afterbirth signs? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. In a way, <laughs> that'd be just like okay. How do we problem? Let let's problem solve, uh, and and just hide it under the shell of Morrowind. That's really that's really what that run is. 
Did we do the full explore? We did the full explore. All right, we can head out. All right, let's go catch up with our frozen, uh, our frozen companion. I can imagine, yeah. It's you, you run like nowhere. What? What? Where'd all the? Where'd the other two rats come from? God damn it! <laughs> okay, all right, all right, fair, 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 fair. Count the timer up. Count the counter up. Oh, and then we now we got a cliff racer too. All right, I'm just gonna drink a fatigue potion. All right, I need to train some agility next time I'm in town. Because we're doing good damage, our hit chance is just is just brutal. Uh, let me just go inside and rest. I'm gonna do a full rest. This is early game Morrowind at its finest. <laughs> Zero days since last incident. That's right. <laughs> it has been zero days. Uh, zero days since the last rat-related tragedy. But, you know, we gotta friggin' fight him. We need the experience. It's a problem. Oh my god, another cliff racer spawn? Sir, sir, please, sir. Can you not? Sir, this is a Wendy's. I need you to not. Alright, I'm gonna heal again. Like I said, I need the freaking experience. I gotta I gotta kill all these guys though. Alchemy and just run a full doping regiment. Yeah, just Sujama. You're right, you're right. You could you could just Sujama up before every fight. And that would actually that would actually work. Alright, so Mariette is like here-ish. So we need to get back up the mountain. We have the Claymore, though. That's all she needed. Stock fortify potions? That was my first thought, was like, you could just fortify everything. And that's like the only way you're allowed to, you'd be able to like live at all. Just fortify all of it. Starting capital and snowball. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. It's the the the, the brutal part would be like trying to start the game with zero stats. Like you would move so incredibly slow, you would do absolutely no damage. <laughs> like the problem would really be like the first, you know, twenty minutes. Oh my god. Screw off, Cliff Racers. Okay. You know, we're going to walk over to Mariette. And even though she's frozen in place, I bet she'll lend her bow and arrow to me. All right, Mariette. Do something. Help me. Help. What? what? You're not going to... You're not going to fight? Hold on. Come on. Okay. They have to follow me, apparently. That is true. Yeah, yeah. You can find some stuff around, but then you just get hit by the I have no strength and can't carry anything problem. <laughs> so you'd have to, like, drink Sujama. Seems like a... Yeah, that is true, Larkit. Yeah, yeah. Like how do how do I survive the first bit and then then it becomes normal? Is that one aggroed on me too? Oh my gosh, they're all over the place up here. I 
There we go. Should be all of them. Hey, leave me alone. I get up. I yes, adrenaline rush. Yeah, at the very beginning. That would be clutch. She's still stuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. And another cliff racer. Stop with the freaking cliff racer. We've killed like six in the last five minutes. Death is drink. Oh god. Reload from level one. I don't think it would be necessarily easy. Um, but like once you stabilize and like get a couple levels in some things and some uh, some gold, uh, then you know it would kind of. What? Go away. Is she in combat with us? Hey, leave me alone. I give up. Oh my gosh. Hold on. We must have accidentally hit her. I gotta I gotta reload the quick save. Is she aggroed? Is she just like super broken? I think they de-aggro after a couple days, so I can, if, if I can go rest somewhere, we should be okay. Or do you need to calm them first? I'm trying to remember. There's there's a way to get your companions un... I must have hit her when we were fighting the cliff racer. Alright, I'm going to rest for a few days. Let's see what happens. Uh, maybe I need to be in another cell? I'm trying to remember how the mechanic worked on this. Because there's a way to get them to un-aggro you. Okay, not hostile. Oh. Sir, sir, I'm trying to sleep here. Okay, can we can we hold? Can we hold on this? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Once again with the waiting to attack me at Red Mountain. Why why is it why is it always at Red Mountain everything goes wrong? Although I I mean it is like the seat of evil. Do you do this zero stat challenge with Tribunal? I, I was thinking that the Dark Brotherhood money would be cheating. Like, if you're going to do it, do it. You know, not not use the Dark Brotherhood armor. Although getting attacked by a Dark Brotherhood before you're ready could be a very intriguing part of the problem. <laughs> Casual Dark Brotherhood fight while you have, like, one long blade. <laughs> that would be uh, very bad. Uh, can I carry this? How heavy is this crap? I can carry most of it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm going to wait a couple days. I can't remember if I need to... Oh, there's someone in here? Are you an enemy? Oh, yeah. I, like, never play with companions, so I can't remember this, the, the mechanic behind getting them to de-aggro you. I think it's just resting in another cell for a couple days, but I can't remember if they needed to be calmed before you do it or after. Or not after, but I, I can't remember if they needed to be calmed before you, like if that was a requirement. Do it with one HP. I mean, you'd basically be at one HP with like one endurance. I actually don't know what that number would be. Would it be uh, how how does HP scale just flat with the level? Would it be like five HP at one or something? Ten? I don't know. I need to start working through these cheaps. This guy actually has a lot of health.
Fatigue. Fatigue. G U E. <laughs> Fatigue. Stop being so agile, thief, and let me hit you. Now we're playing Morrowind. <laughs> Slap fight. Oh my god, at its finest. This guy does like two health damage. But the problem is he hits us every time and we hit him every fifth. I don't have enough fatigue potions to waste on you. Come on. One more hit. One more hit. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's that Atronach down there. Okay, I did I did get a couple days of waiting in, so let me see if she's still on me. Oh, she's getting attacked. Oh, I think she's still aggroed on me. Man, Mariette has just been a problem. <laughs> she glitches out. I, I hit her in the fight. I think either she... I, I don't know if she's like running away from the freaking creatures or if she aggroed me. Mariette, we started off on such good terms. <laughs> and now, now you're freaking... Just a problem. You glitch out on the bridge and everything goes to shit. I I I have no words. I think we just leave her. But that that, that like stops the quest line because we have to give it to her. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we are problem solving again. Let me try the uh, let me try the resting in the cell for a couple days. I I, I need to get rid of this fr uh, flame atronach though. To rest. Yeah, start start shooting at me and missing. I needed to run out of spells. Are you out? All right, now we have slap fight round two. Oh boy. I am gonna do some fatigue potions for this guy. Oh, come on. Key is constant effect items. That makes sense. Yeah, it'd allow you to get other stuff. That makes sense. Trying to get some cheap shots in with the pathfinding. <laughs> Somewhat working. Somewhat working. Come on, come on. One more. My brain is too big for you, Flame Atronach. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm a master adventurer. You can't stop me. All right, we're going to wait for five days. If five days does not settle her down, I'm pretty sure the only way to do it Pretty sure the only way to do it is to calm her and then do the same thing we just did. Funny enough, I had this freaking, uh, I had this save in one of my videos, in my videos about companions. But it's, I made that video like a year and a half ago. <laughs> so I just can't remember the mechanic because I never play with companions otherwise. Because they're just such a hassle like, like we are seeing here. I think you may have to calm them first, and then after you calm them, you have to leave the cell. Uh, 
Spicy food is a love-hate relationship. That's right. Gotta be, gotta be down with the pain. I may just have to, I may just have to mark this place and leave her here, and then come back in the future with a calm spell. Uh, I'm gonna hold on that. All right, so that was five days of resting. Let's see, let's see what what happened with old Mariette over here. Go away. Go away. Yep, she's still aggro. Damn it. Okay. Well. What is the cost? 18. Oh, but our intelligence is 10. Oh my god. Well, Mariette. It was nice knowing you. I think we're just going to have to do another quest right now, even though we basically completed it. Went to a concert and not recovered from spicy food? Spicy food at a concert? Uh, hold on. I wonder what ha what what happens if I kill her? Does the quest complete? I'm going to I'm going to save and we're we're just going to see what happens. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna see if this like frees up the quest or if she just just dies and and roadblocks it because if it roadblocks it that is that is a problem. <laughs> ah yes, two hours and thirty minutes into the Adventurers Guild, we roadblock it. <laughs> Oh, the day before it, you oh, you tried to you tried to be tough. <laughs> that never pays off with freaking with peppers. I knew a guy who uh, had ghost peppers and tried to make a sauce out of them. And and because there was a buddy of his who was like, oh, I can handle any heat. Like, don't you know? Don't worry about me. So they made him this sauce with ghost peppers. And like, you know, just covered a, a chicken, like a freaking rotisserie chicken or something in it. And the guy sat down to eat it. And he was like, oh, this is good. This is a great sauce. And they're all like, holy crap, this guy's actually freaking eating, you know, this thing that's like freaking Satan's bunghole. And then the guy, he starts, he starts like freezing. And he's like, I can't breathe. And they're like, what do you mean you can't breathe? And the freaking pepper was so hot. It was like closing his throat up and causing him to like retch and all this crap. So they had to take the guy to the hospital and he had to like get fluids and, you know, do all these freaking like, he had to take all this medicine from freaking peppers because he thought he was like trying to, oh, I can eat anything spicy. And then they make him this ghost pepper sauce and they send the guy to the freaking hospital, <laughs> which is just crazy. Dude, Her Mariette has some freaking health here. Holy crap. I'm still killing her. What a story. I know. I know. That's that's true story, too. The guy, I mean, the guy went to the freaking hospital over this homemade ghost pepper blender sauce that he thought he could eat. Turns out he can't. <laughs> Turns out it's probably not for human consumption at that point. You know, I'm sure the ones that you buy at the store have, like, some kind of... They cut it a certain way or something so you don't literally die. <laughs> okay, well, it, it roadblocked the quest. Oh, my God. Well, Mariette, you are frozen here. Um, yeah, it was it was nice knowing you, Mariette. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we're just going to pick another quest line from the Adventurer's Guild. We'll come back to her one day. Maybe maybe we'll remember in like three streams that Mariette is still stuck on the mountain and uh, you know, we'll buy a calm scroll or something to sort her out. I'll see her the Console commands. Oh yeah, I was thinking uh, I could try. Actually, now that you mention it, this is actually just good fact finding. If um Okay, reset actors doesn't affect her. Man, my thought was I could reset actor her and it would uh it would do it. It did not. Cuz I guess she's a follower not like normal. Stop combat. We'll try. Uh, is that one? I haven't used that. 
There we go. Seradia with the stop combat. She's still frozen, but she's not in combat with us. <laughs> Uh, I think it should affect her. I tried it. Like, I know if you turn on TCL. Or I've seen people clip through walls before. I guess it is just me. All right, we'll try and just lead her back across this side. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, it's somewhat working. She's finding her way this time. Oh, you're so close. You're so close, Mariette. Come on. Don't get stuck on the end. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're free, we're free, we're free. Grab another freaking save slot. Okay, Th there we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good God. Thank you for the stop combat, uh, Seradia. Here we here, 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 here. That was a freaking ordeal. Okay, so apparently if your companion get stuck on the bridge, toggle the collision, and fly back across it. Because if you walk across it, they won't follow you. But if you fly across it, they will apparently follow you. Good God. <laughs> that was... That was uh, the freaking... The saga of Mariette. You know, this better be worth it. Mariette. Okay, I freaking run down. I run down to this dark, dusty cave because you have a you have a little you have a moment on the bridge. I get you the claymore. You you know you better follow up with your end of the deal here. Okay. You got it. Well, let's head back to the guild. Okay. <laughs> the reward five hundred. I think it was actually less. I think it was, I think it was four hundred gold. I think we're I think we get even less from it. Did I catch a disease? Oh my god, I caught another blight. I am just blighted to hell and back. And I can't freaking divine intervention. Or I'll see the intervention because uh I don't believe a companion will follow you through it. They only follow you through like traditional travel means. Oh, man, I was trying to play dangerously. I was trying to live dangerously. And not, not use another health potion. All right, well, we got to drop some crap now. Uh, probably our a billion pounds of uh, Dark Brotherhood armor, I guess. Or no, our ebony. We'll drop all the freaking ebony. We need to lose 30 more pounds. Well, goodbye, Dark Brotherhood armor. We uh, got stuck in a tight situation. <laughs> With <the> freaking. <laughs> now we're blighted. We're blighted. We had the lady get stuck. We're, we're just dealing with all kinds of adversity. Oh, my God. Yeah, you spend $1,000 on supplies. Exactly. Now we, now we just got to get back. Don't blight me anymore. Don't do not. Don't do anything. All right. Do nothing. <laughs> Nobody hurt me. Don't give me any diseases. All right. We've we've had enough trouble with this freaking quest. <laughs> NPC glitches. A billion cliff racers. I also love that I had my one freaking blight potion and I, I use it and then immediately catch the blight again. <laughs> like that was, that was ridiculous. I used my blight potion and then on the next attack got blighted a second time. <laughs> this is about as classic Morrowind as it can possibly get. All right, Mariette, I need you to I need you to clear out the flyers. Come on. There you go. Good work. Good work.
Gosh, what's the easiest way back to the ghost gate? I guess we're just gonna have to go through all these people. She's just she's just gonna get aggroed on on everything. Yep, there she goes. Oh, oh my god, this place is a freaking bloodbath. Marriott, this is the last time I'm ever listening to you. This 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 quest has been a nightmare. Oh my god. And now she's she's getting swarmed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, do I have anything that I can like use to help here? Use that freaking ring? I don't know, disintegrate? They don't even have armor. <laughs> okay, she got a cliff racer. Go Marriott, come on. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. I have that freaking Sujama. I may as well drink that. Try and get a little more damage. If I if I can hit anything in the next minute. No. Oh. I don't have enough health potions for this. I was feeling good. I had ten. I thought everything was hunky dory. I guess we should focus on one guy. Oh, and then now she's dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's reload. <laughs> that counts as a death. That, that counts as a death. That's seven. <laughs> seven on the stream. Um, let's try and go not that way this time. Uh, hopefully she doesn't aggro all of the freaking people. I think she only fights, if I'm remembering how they aggro the companions, I think she only starts fighting when they attack me. So as long as I can keep running, I believe she'll just keep following me. Oh, I guess they attacked her, so that triggered her. Okay, well. This is, this is a better roll than last time. <laughs> last time we had a thousand of them. I guess I should clear the cliff racers out since they don't heal. That's probably the best here. Come on now. God, just bashing our face against <laughs> against Red Mountain. <laughs> Trying to brute force our way through. <laughs> with freaking Mariette. You know, Trigon, and you may wanna you may wanna find another another waifu. I don't know I don't know if she has the best judgment. <laughs> I am going to try that ring. I don't think it does anything against these guys, but we'll try it. Come on, Marriott. Come on. You can do it, girl. One shot. One shot. I guess her fatigue is like zero now. She's probably blighted too, actually, which is why she's now not helping as much. Because she's probably doing like five damage as well. Gosh, do I have anything that can help here? Like, not really. I can do the Star of the West and absorb some fatigue. Oh, she's ignoring the other one. Okay, yeah, just run, just run. <laughs> Uh, although we can't actually go that way. So let's go this way. Uh, 
Can she pathfind? She cannot. Oh my gosh, Marriott. <laughs> there, there she goes, killing again. Alright, give me your friggin' fatigue. There is no way that Mariette lives through this again. She's taken a lot of damage. Quit healing! Okay, there we go. Alright, down to just the cliff racer. That's fine. Not worried about the cliff racer. Thankfully, because they don't they don't have heal. I don't have auto heal. Uh, two hit kill, three hit kill, pretty pretty close. All right, there we go. All right, Marriott, what what the hell have you gotten us into? What the hell is this? Uh, can I rest anywhere around here? I cannot. I would love to get back, Fist of the North Star. Well, at least we know she's not. She's loyal. <laughs> yeah, she's done a lot of killing for us, apparently. She's quick to draw her blade, that is for sure. Rat! Alright. Still are enemies nearby. Yeah, our strength is 31, <laughs> which is why we're now doing zero damage. All right, she's still following us, though, so hopefully we can just keep her... Keep her un -aggroed. Uh, she's... Are you stuck again? Okay, no, she's good. Come on, come on, come on. We just got to make it out of here, Marriott. We got your claim, or That's all we got to do. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> Dig deep. Need to, like, coach her through it. <laughs> what is that pathfinding? She ran up the mountain. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Just run. Just run. <laughs> come on. We got to escape. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't get lost. Just go. Just go. Just go. God, this is the hardest thing I've done in this freaking game in, like, forever. <laughs> go, 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 go. Don't, don't turn back, Marriott. Holy crap. No, don't pull your bow out. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. We're almost there. Come on. You can do it. Don't you dare attack her, rat. No. God damn it. <laughs> no, we were so close. Okay, I think she's just aggroed on the rat. So maybe if I can just kill the rat. Maybe she'll start running again. God, we're right at the ghost gate. If she freaking dies now. Uh, I gotta heal. There's the last health. Oh, she's aggroed on the cliff racers. God, it's never easy. Uh, I can rest. Uh, at least we got to level up after all this freaking trouble. Okay, I bet why none, neither of us are doing damage. I bet we're just both strength blighted. Okay, there we go. Come on, Marriott. That's, that's got to be the final test. There's one rat in the way. Just just, just give it a wide berth. Come on. We just got to get out of here. Oh, my God. Yes. 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 Go, 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 go. 
Activate. Uh, switch. There we go. Holy crap. That was a freaking episode <laughs> in a half. Oh my god. <laughs> the trials. The trials and tribulations of Marriott freaking Bereen. Good god. <laughs> that was the hardest crap. Oh my god. What a wild ride. That was that was a that was a couple rides. I, I, we're never f adventuring with your ass again. <laughs> You're going to stay at the freaking Adventurer's Guild. Maybe when we're like level 10. <laughs> Good God. Blighted, beaten, and scarred. <laughs> for freaking Marriott. Glitches out on the bridge. That, that was the real, the real struggles. Oh my God. Okay, is there anyone I can barter with for some supplies? Because I have nothing now. Good lord. <laughs> okay, jeez. I need a like... I need like one of those stress... You know, the little guys where you squeeze them and the ears and eyes pop out. Like, I need one of those little stress dudes. Oh god. That final sprint... That final sprint to the end... When those cliff racers attacked her, my heart was just... It was ready to give out. All right. Well, we got one here. I'm not... I'm not as worried now that we're out of the freaking danger zone of, of Red Mountain. Also, she has the poison claymore. I'm surprised she's not using it. I guess she's just a marksman build. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. Is there anyone that will barter with me? Uh, no. Uh, yes. Health. I mean, it's only cheap, but I'll take it and then I can sell her. I can sell her some of these random alchemy things. Some ordinators. Uh, nothing crazy. Never again, right? <laughs> Burn me. Sh fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. <laughs> that one was definitely a shame. Yeah, we got the boots of blinding speed. I was feeling confident. I was feeling good. And then freaking Mariette had to, had to just lead us into the den of evil again. I don't think I'm going to find anything helpful down here. Yeah. Owned beds. All right. Make it quick, Outlander. All right. Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh, another cliff racer. Can she outrun a cliff racer? That is the question. So far, yes. Let's see where she'll take us next time. Probably the freaking pits of hell or something. She's going to take you to the literal throne of Satan. <laughs> like, I don't know. The freaking Asmodeus' realm of, you know, it's like we're going to teleport into Diablo and face Lilith or something. <laughs> like, actually, she's, no, you know what? I, I, I want to go see Dagoth. I keep hearing about this Dagoth guy. Uh... So let's head back to Red Mountain, and you're going to actually take me to him. Either that, or she's like, you know, this. there's this person called Umbra I've been hearing about. Really interested in their sword. Man, this, like, no... This blight? The blight is the real problem. Just the no freaking, uh... No damage is, is the actual biggest issue right now. And she died. Okay, gotta freaking reload the quick save. All right, that's another death. That counts. Y you are just, you're just trouble. <laughs> God damn it, Marriott. 
All right, we gotta like pacifist our way over to freaking Aldrum. You bastard, you bastard flying, flying double winged traitor to the crown. Freaking just causing trouble. Uh, I would love to rest, but I can't. All right. Let's just hope we get lucky, I guess. That's kind of where we're at. We're like, we're like, this is like a a light version of the power armor run. I guess we could run to Caldera instead. <laughs> run to Caldera. Take a guild guide to freaking Aldrun. Alright, we're going to give that path a wide berth because I know there's a thousand cliff racers over there. Nope, don't do it. You don't want this heat, rat. Actually, I don't want, I don't want your heat cuz I bet seems like Mariette's on super low health. She got killed by those cliff racers. Okay, good. She still has her pathfinding. Come on, come on. We're actually almost to Galdera, funny enough. Nyx Hound? Eh, you know, Nyx Hound, least of our problems. I'm not, I'm not worried about the Nyx Hounds. It's the 75 cliff racers when they, like, gang up on us. That's the problem. Although the rat caught Marionette. Mariette, not Marionette. I keep, I keep wanting to say Marionette like she's some, I don't know, some puppet or something. All right, uh, can you... Let me see. There should be a road over here to Caldera soon. At least I would assume so. Imagine her wanting to go to a dungeon full of vampires. That's honestly, I wouldn't put it past her. At this point, like, yeah, take me to the take me to the mountains with the zombies and the the the, the bridges, the rope suspension bridges. I'm I'm deathly afraid of. <laughs> You know what's next? Uh, take me to the take me to the hole in the ground with the vampires and the walls that eat you, and I don't know uh, the traps, uh, the level fifty traps <laughs> that kill you in one shot. Oh, something got her. Okay, just a rat, just a rat. That's okay. We can deal with the rat. We can deal with a rat. I'm not worried about the rat. Come on, come on. All right. Well, we've the, the Adventurers Guild has certainly lived up to its name. We have certainly had an adventure. <laughs> we've had about five adventures and two quests. Um, so you get your money's worth. You know, the mod lives up to its name. This has been about as much of an adventure as it ever could be. Did we lose her? Oh my God, Marriott, what are you doing? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. We're, we're so close. What? Where'd she go? Oh, there you are. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Come on. I was like, don't. No, don't quit at the finish line. Come on. And developers wonder why people hate follow quests. Okay, come on. Oh my God! We, I think we've I think we made it back. We have made it to civilization. We made it to Caldera. Another rat in the way. I can handle that. My character has gone from new, sunny, good, well dispositioned first day on the job adventurer. To a grizzled, jaded old veteran in the span of three hours. <laughs> he's, he's already going back to the tavern. You know, you guys only think you want to be adventurers. You don't know what kind of hell's out there. 
<laughs> He's scaring off all the young guys. He's got scars on his face. <laughs> it's not just glory out there, kids. Tell. All right, we're going to stop in Jermaine's here and grab some items. At least he hasn't taken an arrow to the knee. That is fair. You, you do got to look on the bright side. At least there were no arrows in the knee. Oh, wait. I forgot to... Uh... Amulet of Recall. Ring of Aversion is also a absolute banger. I am partial to Veloth's robe as well. Uh, I have 110 gold. How much is the Amulet of Recall? 194. So I can't get that. I'll get the Ring of Aversion... And I'll get Velos Robe. I like Velos Robe just for a nice, like, early heal that you can just spam on top of your other healing items. Come on. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? You can do it, Mariette. There you go. Problem solving at its finest. She's she's sharp as she's sharp as a attack. That one. Just as <laughs> sharp as. Sharp as can be. Good old Marriott. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Oh, I should have traveled to freaking uh Aldrune right there. I don't know what I was doing. You know, that's that's how you know you're in deep. All right, when you just auto travel to Balmora no matter what. That's 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 when you know you have a problem. All right, come on. God, we made it. Holy shit, we made it to Altrune. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like I just finished a marathon. <laughs> come on. Get to hell inside. <sighs> I, I can't believe it. We've done it. Oh, my God, we've done it. Duty? Since you helped me out, you deserve some pay. Take 250 drakes. Since you helped me with two jobs, I will be your assistant in future duties for the guild. Come and ask and... Oh my god, 250 freaking drakes. It, she said it would be 400. God damn it. No. We got shortchanged after all that. After all that freaking struggle. She said, she, you know... She played us like a fiddle. Played us like a freaking fiddle. Tri Trigun was ready, you know, to court this person. I was bought in. I thought, I was like, this is going to be a great, you know, enterprising young adventurer. Oh, God. 250 drakes. Where's the mod author? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, sir. This mod that you made in 2008. I'd like to have a word with you. <laughs> Check your inventory to see if she didn't swindle anything. I wouldn't put it past her. Well, and I bet she's freaking blighted to hell and back now. So even though she's going to be our assistant, um, I guess she will take me up uh, for a, as a companion. That's actually something good to know. I actually don't know. Can NPCs catch the blight? Because if, like, if we got blighted and our strength is, like, shot, I would assume she would have also gotten blighted at some point in that. And, like, would have her freaking damage uh, totally just destroyed. All right, let me see. All right, we still have our Dark Brotherhood armor. We still have all that. Okay, okay. All right. All right. All right. Ne never again. <laughs> that was uh, that that was bad. <laughs> Although it was kind of, you know, I do kind of like the challenge. The challenge runs. That that wasn't even a challenge run, but it was certainly challenging. Like I said, I felt like I just finished a race. Like I'm 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 spent. <laughs> okay, what do I need to do now? Uh, I do need to go. 
Um, I need a divine intervention to... Or I guess I can not waste it. I'll just go to Sadrith more. I need to go to a... Or actually, isn't there a shrine? Yeah, yeah, okay. I need to go to a shrine to cure all my diseases. You've been wounded. I've been, I've been collecting diseases. All right, that cured everything. Sweet. Sweet! Um, can I buy divine intervention uh, from you? I cannot. All right, what else do we have going on here? Uh, this guy, I think he sells a restore strength. I'll need that in the in my back pocket for eventually. Ah, I should go see the creeper and sell my Dark Brotherhood items so we somewhat fix our gold problem that we've been having here at the beginning. Let's go do that. Oh, oh my god, did she? Infidentia, I didn't even realize that. Did she say that we should bring her along more? <laughs> I I had the fucking time of my life with that coffee guy. We had a great... We went to the mountains together. We fought monsters together. I, I abandoned him on a bridge and made him, you know, made him fight for me like the knight that he always wanted to be. What a great stand-up guy that... That freaking Andy the Adventurer... I'd, I'd, I'd party with him anytime. <laughs> like she's, she's telling everybody back at the guild, <laughs> like, like it was some grand, grand fucking, you know, <laughs> like it was some grand adventure that we went on, which it was, you know, it was in hindsight. She's, it's like, it's like her fish story. And, and then I pulled the poisonous claymore out of the mines and I'm sitting in the back like, no, you didn't. Like you were freaking on the bridge. What are you talking about? <laughs> Stay at home. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh, somehow my shield came off during that. I don't I don't know how that happened. Uh, that needs to be back on. Oh, it's broken. That's how. Okay. Uh, let's go to the fighter's guild and get that repaired. Actually, I'm going to go back to Jermaine and buy that amulet now. Because my guy has the intelligence of a bullfrog and cannot like literally even comprehend the spell that he needs to cast to not die. <laughs> I'll buy actually opening too. She was guarding the bra you're right. You why didn't I think of that? You know, <laughs> let's let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, she was she was guarding the the way home. Yeah, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. She was uh No words. <laughs> Go to old the trials and tribulations of Mariette. Is there something I can do for you, Alcand? Let me see. Do I need anything else here? Uh, probably not. I think I'm good in Caldera. We got our money. We have an amulet of opening that'll help us uh, with spells and locks. We have recall, uh, ring of aversion. I can sell this thief ring. That actually doesn't really help us uh. out very much. Um, I liked the mad dash to the ghost gate. That was actually pretty fun. <laughs> like, please God, don't touch anything. Don't attack anything. Just, just, just freaking leave. <laughs> that was pretty fun. All right. Well, there we go. Andy, the freaking adventurer, out here, kicking ass, taking names. Saving, uh, saving Mariette from the terrors of rope suspension bridges. Getting paralyzed in fear. I like how we got this guy's quest and then we're like, hey, but Mariette though. <laughs> like this guy, we've been gone for like a month, <laughs> you know, with all the resting we've done. If you actually look at the days we've been gone, we've probably been gone for like a month and a half. And this Argonian is like, what the hell? Like I sent this guy... Like, he was just supposed to go talk to a guy in Narmak, and he's been gone for two months. Actually, let me check my journal. I think I did. I think I was just supposed to go talk to somebody.
Yeah, we did Dwimmer Tube, did that, did that. Uh, Talavu Dislanvi. He lives in Margon. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Let's go talk to this guy. Give him a... Let's let's give Walks in Swamp a fair shake here. You know, let's let him... Uh, can't give Mariette all our love. Maybe you had a conversation in Intish. I don't know enough about uh, Intish to under fully under did they take a really long time i'm assuming they do because they're trees is there something we heard you saw you ah uh, that makes sense <laughs> i'm sorry boss I, I i couldn't make it to work i was talking to the tree and you, i mean you know how trees are man you know you know come on come on boss give me a, give me a fucking break here All right When's the last time you talked to a tree and and, and it finished quickly? All right. No. Cut, cut, cut me some freaking slack, man. <laughs> oh, my God. That is freaking long time. A day? It takes him a day to say hello. Wow. That's, that's some... Uh, that's some time. For sure. Holy shit. Yeah, don't talk to... Don't yeah. don't say hello to your intish neighbor when, when you're on your way to work. <laughs> All right, here we go. Talavu Dislanvi. Hello, associate. What can I do for you? I'm here about Geth Bachman. Walked to the swamp, told you to come here. Well, I know that it has not been found, and they say it would be somewhere in the Ashlands or Red Mountain. If you send me back to that godforsaken place immediately after this, I'm going to the Balmora Adventurers Guild, and I'm never coming back to Aldrun. Okay? I'm gonna... F I'll leave these guys. You send me to Red Mountain at level 2 one more freaking time. I'm just... I'm just moving guild chapters. Okay? <laughs> let's... Let, let's... 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 Tamper it down. Okay, we know that the literal demigod guy who's trying to kill everyone lives there. Why are you sending the newbie there? All right, I've looked for months, and I do not think it exists, personally. But I do know that there might be a map to it somewhere. I do not know where that map could be and if the map exists. I do have a Dwimmer Ruin I need to look into, which could contain a map for Geth Bachman. Please report this back to Walk to the Swamp, as this is all I have for now. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, you must be a scout to get guild services. All right. Uh, so now we need to head back to Walk to the Swamp. And then we can set our sights on another Dwimmer Ruin. How's the money looking? Uh, 2800 Okay. I forgot we sold our Dark Brotherhood stuff, so money should not actually be a problem at the moment. All right. Argonian. Dearest Argonian. I know it's been a long time, but I do have a, I have a good update, boss. The thing you're looking for may not exist. How about that? <laughs> How you like that? Uh, nothing yet, eh? I am. Uh, I'm sure he'll find Geth Bachman eventually. Here's a hundred gold for your travels and asking Talavu Dislanvi. Oh my God! We freaking get we get a hundred gold for going to the neighboring town, asking someone one question, and we get two hundred and fifty gold for fighting zombies for two hours. <laughs> Oh my god. And getting freaking just crapped on on Red Mountain. Oh my god. The, the scaling. You gotta adjust your pay structure in this guild. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Alright. No wonder, no wonder these adventurers are unionizing. It's not performance based compensation. <laughs> god damn it. I'm going back to the Fighters Guild, guys. This this pay structure, this is absurd. <laughs> That's awesome, right? 
Uh, it's uh, <laughs> the jokes write themselves, uh, you know. Okay, let's see what else he has going on. Uh, I need to track down some thieves. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're. T this sounds like a little more like my speed of adventure. All right, thieves. I can. I can deal with thieves. I can deal with thieves. Someone has stolen a glass longsword from the guild. No one in the guild seems to know where it went. I want you to ask around Aldrun and track down this stolen sword. If you find out anything, please investigate further. The longer we wait, the more likely, uh, the further this stolen sword will be from our guild. Okay. Uh, okay. Little put on our put on our Sherlock Holmes hat. Going a little investigation. Uh, we can start with the guards, maybe. Thieves. I haven't seen anyone with a glass longsword. Okay. Uh, let's go to one of the stores or something. Maybe they stole from a local a local tin pan and now they're now they're trying to get rid of the sword. Uh, I haven't seen anyone with a glass longsword. Okay. Why, are you here? Why am I here? Well, uh, I'm obviously looking for a glass longsword. I just told you. You there, Caius? Cody. <laughs> This has got to be like Caius, uh, Caius's like uh, alternate twin, Codius Colonus, Caius Cosades, Codius Colonus. I mean, that's like pretty close, and they look exactly the freaking same. They got the same head. I'm just saying, <laughs> got got alternate dimension Caius over here. Uh, I haven't seen anyone with a glass longsword. Okay, well, how about I use the voice of the emperor on you? How about how about now? No, you still haven't seen it. Damn it. <laughs> okay. All right, it's not a disposition check apparently. Uh, let's check over here. Check at the smith. Nope. Locked. Okay. Uh, I saw someone with a glass longsword that just left the city a few hours ago, headed south towards Fort Buckmoth. Where this someone went could be anywhere. Okay. Headed south toward Buckmoth. I mean, they could be... Does that mean they're, like, in a cave? Or are they just, like, on the road? Where? All right, then. Where would one... If I mean, if I was a glass longsword thief, I, I would probably... Probably duck into a cave. Um, not just hang out on the roadside. Does that mean they could be in like any dungeon ever on the way down there? You know? I don't know. The 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 the, the, the chances are, I mean it could be anything. Alright, I guess we can just start adventuring. I mean, we got the boots of blinding speed for a reason, right? So we can just speed, just Sonic the Hedgehog out across the uh, continent. All right, let's check our map first, or our, our signpost. Aldrun, uh, Buckmoth Legion Fort, this way. All right. Well, keep your eyes peeled for a, a green blade somewhere. Uh, you there. I'm in need of an escort. Uh, no, I'm I'm only interested in... in the blood of thieves, uh, wetting my blade, or I don't know, something epic and adventure, adventurer like. Uh, and they said they were on the road, so I'm not gonna like tramp into the like the friggin' forest or anything over here. Although it's not really a forest. <laughs> it's kind of the Ashlands. Um, okay, let's ask around here. Have you seen any thieves? I saw someone with a shiny glass longsword that went east on the path that goes towards Red Mountain. You're gonna send me back to Red Mountain? I 
just escaped. <laughs> Why does everybody love freaking Red Mountain? God damn it. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going east of, to fucking Red Mountain again. <laughs> Find this glass log. Let me guess. He, he hid in Dagoth Ur's citadel. It's, uh, you know, the, the only way to destroy this cursed glass longsword, you must throw it into the fires of Red Mountain. Is he at the ghost gate? I wonder if he's at the ghost gate. I'm actually just going to run straight to the ghost gate. I bet he's over there. I can just have a, a f horde of cliff racers on me. If this guy actually is in freaking... uh. If he's actually in Red Mountain, that is that is just ridiculous. <laughs> the, the luck, the run of luck that we've had. I wonder if he's one of those people up there. Let me go. Let me ask in the ghost gate and see. All right. Uh, you there? Uh, oh, you don't have a. Uh, so none of these people have a dialogue option. Our doors are always open. Hmm. What else would be on the road east to Red Mountain? I can't think of another place that would have someone to ask for clues. Uh, nothing here, nothing there. You know what? Let's pick a random shrine to get a blessing at. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch Vivek by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mother said to pick the very best one, and you are it. The shrine of St. Narivar. That shall be our blessing. All right. Make a donation of 35 gold and receive a blessing. Okay. <laughs> we will take the spirit of Narivar. What is this? Fortify fatigue by 20 points. Actually, not a bad blessing. We will take that any any time of day. Um, I may I'm trying to think. What other road is there out this way? Is it one of these people? Hold on a second. Uh, no. I'm just gonna have I'm gonna have a cloud of cliff, cliff razors. No, it's not them. Who could it be? Uh, let me head back. I'm actually gonna head back. Because there was a fork in the road, and I decided to. Go towards the ghost gate. The good thing is if I, I lead this cloud of cliff racers back to Aldrun, they will just, the guards will just kill them. Uh, let me check in here. This looks like somewhere. Sedonet Mine. Okay. Have you seen anything? You there? Seen anything funky? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's head back out. I went east to Red Mountain. I don't see anyone out and about. Alright. I may head back to Buckmoth and just get the soldiers to kill all these people. I'm trying to get to a high spot. I don't see anyone. This guy could be anywhere, like, actually. All right, let me go back to the road before I before I get turned around here. I don't see any people. I don't see any like doors. 
east towards Red Mountain is pretty vague. Like, does he mean that way? I mean, this is the way we came, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, soldiers, clear them out. <laughs> Get to work, boys. There you go. See, look at this. And they say the Empire doesn't do anything good for Marwin. Look at our boys. Look at our boys in purple right there, just doing doing the Lord's work. <laughs> there you go. See, what, what do people have against these guys? Come on. Look at that. There's, there's three dead cliff racers that a, a, a Marwin native didn't have to fight. That's all I'm saying. All right, let me see. Let's check one more time. Uh, hop in here. Nobody else has any dialogue. Greetings. The guards at Buckmoth saw some of the glass go east and up the hill. Up the hill. Oh, they weren't on the road. It just said east. So should we just randomly go east? And not follow the road? That's like almost what I'm thinking here. Um. Alright, we're going to try that. We're going to try it. We're just going to walk up this freaking hill. Uh, and if we don't find anyone then I think we will just head back to Buckmoth so we just said east and up the hill oh god there's so many cliff racers <laughs> Um, unless he's like on top. Hold on. I don't think I can get up there. I don't think my acrobatics is high enough, actually. All right, I'm just gonna console to see. Is he really up here? Okay, he's not even up there. God damn it. <laughs> All right, all right, back to Buckmoth. Let's uh, let's rebaseline. Man with the shiny glass sword east up the hill. I mean, that is east, and that is up the hill. It's about as east as I can go. That is about as east as it gets. Well, we're just gonna let lead him to the meat. Holy crap! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cliff racers. Okay, hold on. This is like a freaking Vivek Arena moment. Let's see. One guard versus nine cliff racers. Who wins? You're, you're doing great, buddy. You got it. Oh, is he is he quitting? Oh no, he's killing a rat. Alright, I guess I'm gonna help you out. Take the free experience. Take the free experience where you can get it. I am not blighted now, so I'm, I actually do some decent damage, finally. It <laughs> Literally, though. I mean, uh, yeah, what is it? You know, every meme has, like, a, a piece of truth in it or something. Every joke comes from something true. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, man, I know. We've had uh, pretty rough luck this stream, you know. It's usually... <laughs> usually not this bad. Cannot repair during battle. Well, where is your, uh, where is your right. garrison here? Uh, well, I guess I can just use my journeyman. Let me get my fatigue. Come on. Spam our, spam our armorer skill here. 
All right, well, we got it most of the way back, thankfully. Meanwhile, our buddy out here is just working. <laughs> He's just putting in freaking reps on these cliff razors. He's saying, where the hell did this guy come from? I thought we told the freaking civilians to stay off the mountain. Yeah, look at this bloodbath. Oh my god. What? <laughs> look, this is from two trips. Two trips that were about five feet away. Oh my god. That is, uh, that's classic right there. That's some... Now we're talking. Now we're playing Morrowind. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we have hit the three and a half hour mark. I think that is about as much fun as I can handle right now. Because uh, I do have some stuff that I still need to do tonight. Sadly, unrelated to uh, YouTube and streaming. But... For those of you who are still hanging around, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you're a new viewer, I don't just stream. I do make uh, Morrowind-related YouTube videos as well. Uh, some Elder Scrolls content, so I'll throw the VOD channel link out there. Which this stream will be up there uh, probably into the night or tomorrow. And then our main channel, which I'm working on a new video right now that I think folks will find incredibly enjoyable if you like modding Morrowind. So with that being said... Thanks to all the wonderful people who stopped by. Invidentia, Choke, Trigun, anyone else who stopped by stream. It was awesome. Had a lot of fun. And as always, I've been the Coffee Nut. You have been yourself. And I will catch you on the next one. Adios.